we're getting into the games, my friends. Into the games. I'm, I was looking at this earlier. I was wondering if maybe we should switch out the chainsaw for the power mall. But I like the power mall has that power swing, which gives us more AoE. So I think sacrificing a, l a little bit of minimum damage is okay. It also means less m less parry. And, um, but we can push people back, which is kind of cool. Like, there's some pretty neat abilities here that, uh, that I think makes the, makes the power mall uh, a reasonable choice. So I'm going to add that to the cargo for now. And for this one, I'm going to hang on to it for now. It's an unwieldy weapon, and it's, it's, it does great damage, but it costs more action points. And I think that makes it just kind of unattractive, unfortunately. So, I think that's all fine and dandy. We'll just stick with this. We have a chainmail that we'll put on uh, Argento once she has the ability to wear armor without, or medium armor, without incurring the dodge penalty. So, I think we'll do that. We'll do that with her next level. Let's go ahead and crack this door open and see what awaits. Is it more friends? We get a little side, uh, uh, piece by piece, choose your own adventure section. And I do like these. I do like these, yeah. Yeah, for some reason, I thought I, I missed right. I thought it was 195. It was 198. When I was looking through the list earlier. And I'm glad I just happened to stumble upon it, Potato Prior. That was, that was very lucky. Okay. So, in the throes of a heretical insurgency, we witnessed, accidentally witnessed, an unholy ritual. Okay. This abandoned nook turned out to be a heretic's gathering place for performing their grim and profane acts. The large group of rebels stood frozen. Okay, no one moved. Staring in the center of the room, only the murmur of hushed voices echoed against the metal walls. Is it because they know they've been discovered? Or is this part of the ritual? I run a cur cursory glance over the room. Assess the situation. Okay, here we go. Unremarkable in appearance, dressed in shabby clothes. Okay. But what caught my attention was the strange, sinister anticipation in their eyes. Okay. Changed brief, unintelligible remarks. Stood frozen in a circle. Gazes turned towards a hulking structure in the center of the room. Is it this? The hulking structure? Bulky power transformers, cogitators, crates, fuckcasters. Okay. Ba -ba -ba -ba. An enormous lens mounted on a stand. Caught the thin sunbeams that made their way through the slits in the ceiling and crossed the half-lit room. Not unlike the enormous lens we saw in our fight with the Warden on the prison planet. Now I will absolutely be able to make this awareness check. Uh, I'll go and do that. I'll go and do it. Barely visible behind the closed ranks of the insurgents. Rusted barrels with evidently flammable contents. Okay. One good shot of those barrels will explode everything. I observe what happens next. As if commanded by a grim unseen force, the, insur the insurgents fell silent and parted in a single movement. A thick, sticky silence fills the room. Heretic's gaze is turned towards a metal structure with the lens on top of it. That's right. Structure flashed as a single sun ray illuminated it. The sound of bare feet broke the sinister silence as a man emerged from the deep shadows. Into the circle, claps on his knees. Not a second had passed. Okay, they gripped him by the ha by the shoulders and hair, like we're seeing in the image there. Remember, comrade, the last sunner you behold will be yours only, shared with no one else. Your holy final dawn, proper noun, final dawn. By doing by the doing of someone's hands, the lens had turned and its focus ray focused ray feasted upon his eyes. That's some fucking torture shit right there. God damn. Chinese water torture? No, what about fucking eyeball sunbeam torture? It's the the eyeball scorched blindness. They've yet to even notice us. I brace myself and I I could shoot at the warp lens, destroying the charms. I could blow up the barrels, thinning their ranks, or I could just fight them and just call it a day. I will blow up the barrels. Here we go. Bam. So we killed several. And now we get to kill the rest. Now that guy is the blind madman now. Hence how they become blinded and maddened. Excuse me. But otherwise. 
We have, of course, the Unholy Lens. We might have to kill that to prevent somebody from being... Uh, anybody from being uh, resurrected. But I'm assuming that's only like the fancy people. Like, yeah, the leader of cultists. So yeah, we'll probably want to emphasize the Unholy Lens to prevent any like fancy schmancy folks from being uh restarted or re realived. Also, there's a lot of bad guys around here. There's a lot of bad guys around here. I'm, I'm already up here. Melee guy right here. Could blow that up, which means I shouldn't stand too close to it. None of us should can blow this up. Yeah, here. Yeah, we know that the barrels don't explode for much. The propane tanks might explode better. And of course, I guess if you blow up one, they're both going to go. So, some of it could be kind of cool, but yeah, the leader of the cultists I can get a quick look at him. Oh, he's got chain lightning. He is a psyker. That is good to know. So, yeah, we should not stand too close because that would make us a very tasty target for him. Okay, so, with that in, with that being said, my guy is a snipey boy. I should put him away from the dangers. But not, like, back here because I... Well, that's, that one's fine, actually. I mean, I guess that's an okay spot. This cover, I don't think it would explode. So maybe this is an okay spot. Abelard. I think I might put him right here. Because he'd be able to melee that guy. When does that guy go? Leader of Cultus. Leader of Cultus goes next after me and Cassia. And then he does get to go. Okay, so he will get to go before a lot of us will get to go. So what I might even have Cassia do. Or I guess me. I guess I could do it too for that matter. So maybe I'll put myself here instead, so I could take a shot here, blow those things up. Because there's a very, very good chance it would kill him. Um, what I'm also thinking is, I want to blow that- I want to be the one to blow that up, because if I don't blow it up, and say Abelard closes in for melee, either here or somewhere over here, there's a chance that somebody else could blow that up and potentially make it hurt my guys. So if I blow it up now, it will guarantee only bad guys get injured by doing so. Lots of stuff for fun this side. The only real special folks to consider, there's an anointed cultist. I don't think he's that special. He doesn't have a lot of health, so he's probably okay. Um, yeah, he does have some passive abilities, which is a little bit scary, but I don't think he's like a spellcaster or anything. Um, so this guy is a fancy fella, obviously. We got a, we got a couple fire starters and some gun boys. Some gun boys for sure. They have crappy guns, but I mean they, you know, they have them. So as ranged effect range attacking guys go that's a little bit concerning and then of course this thing the second thing i can't even look at the details for whatever it is so yeah so i will take a shot at that um abelard he doesn't go actually he goes not too too far from here the anointed cultist will absolutely close for combat with him most likely although i don't know maybe i should put him in front of me maybe because I want him to close with Abelard instead of me. Although what I might just do is after I sh do whatever shooting I do, I might duck out of combat or duck out of cover. Unless, hold on. Is there a way to see, does the sniper have something where, like, am I not allowed to move after I shoot? Because I know that that's how it is for some weapons. Like, after you use the weapon, you can't move. Like, it, it saps all your movement points. So I can't remember what how this one works, but there might be a thing that says you can move and shoot, but you can't shoot and then move. Adira, it's going to be a while before you get to go, Adira, so I'm th I don't think I'm going to move her up that close. What I will do is put Pascal here as well. I'm thinking more about this guy is going to go, Leader of Cultists. Would he be able to get into range for Chain Lightning? There's a good chance. There's a good chance he would. So yeah, I would definitely wouldn't want Abelard and me to be too close. In fact, for that matter, maybe I should put him... I put him over here. That's the thing. I need to ensure that if he lives... Maybe that's the thing. Maybe I should just assume he won't live. Maybe Casilla will be able to fuck him up. In fact, Casilla will put you as, as far up as you can go. Argenta, it's going to be, be a while before you get to go. So, Cassia is as far up as she can go. I think for the rest of them, it should be okay. I think as long as these, uh, the, the rest of us aren't up too far, it will make it so that even if we get hit by Chain Lightning, it only hit the two of us, and it won't arc to this group over here. So, I think that's 
I think that's like a reasonable way to look at this. So I'll bring Pascal up a bit. Pedro, Pedro, Pas Pedro, Pascal, pa Pascal. That's a, that's his full name, and that's my head cannon. There it is. Can I can I really decisively believe I'll be able to kill this guy quickly? There's gonna be two explosions. I hope that's gonna be enough. Or I could just shoot him. I mean, I could just blast his ass and call it a day. Um, I know I'd be able to one shot him, but I'm still worried about getting caught into some kind of like combat situation here, and a bunch of bad guys. Deciding to shoot at this intentionally and causing it to harm us. I kind of want to be the one to decide when that blows. But, um, maybe I should just roll with it. Is there anything else I haven't considered? I see there's another big fuel tank here. This is a big looking fuel tank thing, but it's not red, so it's not shootable. At least not, not like right now. Yeah, so it looks there's really nothing else that I can see. This did kill a lot of dudes, so maybe that actually might do a lot of damage. Okay. I did cultists, and I took cultists. What else do we have? We have one guy back there and a whole bunch of ranged guys. So more range than anything. More range than melee here. Yeah. Let's do that. I think, yeah, the more I think about it, I think I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna have him blast him, and then I'm gonna have Abelard. I'm gonna have him be as close to here as possible, so if the leader does try to get this way to try to lightning one of us, Abelard will be able to reach him faster. I think let's just go with that. So, yeah, the more I think about it, I think I'm, I am just gonna blast this guy now. Just directly. Because there's a very real chance we might be able to use it, utilize this in other ways. So if I blast you now, what else could I do? I could blow that. I could, like, shoot some of these guys. I can't shoot that guy from here. Can I... Would would that be... Uh, oh, no. I have to move closer to do the lower check. I am behind cover right now. Would this wipe out my movement points? No, it would not. No, with this. So I can still... Apply... Actually, let's do this after... If I'm able to move, I'll do it after I move. Because <laughs> so if I move here, I'll be able to reach more. So I'll go ahead and take the shot. Oh, look at that. It confirmed it would nuke our movement points. What if I moved here? Would I still be able to shoot this guy? No, I would not. Okay, so that is the question then. Yeah, let's go ahead and drop him. Okay, dropped him. No question. No hesitation. Go ahead and apply a stack towards you, because you're a, you're a range guy that has quite a lot of health. Um, yeah, that's all fine and dandy. We do have grenades. There's no way someone could look like that in the middle of the screen. One legged duck, are you trying to say that nobody could look this handsome? Are you trying to tell me? Oh, I realize that my face is covering it, but you're trying to tell me that you're, you're going to look me in the eye and say that this level of handsomeness is not realistic? I don't know. I don't know. That's, that's, yeah, I think I like to think it's doable. I think if someone tried hard, tried really hard, and had enough plastic surgery to stretch their forehead out, I think the peak male form could be achieved. I like to think it's possible. Asiya, I'm going to move you... I don't know if I want to move her up super, super much. I definitely don't want her to get too close, because, again, I worry about those chain lightning arcs. I think if I got right here, it might be safe. There's a lot of action over there, and I don't know what I gain by getting myself too, too close. I know that there's really... Is there one? There's one person I can snipe at right. Oh, I guess there's two. There's a second one over there. Are you ranged or melee? You are melee, and he would not be able to reach anybody right now. You have to. You need two turns to move. Uh, this would not get movement points. Yeah, I'm glad it tells me that. Spends all movement points. I'm glad it tells me that right there. So I wouldn't be able to like move up, do this, and move back. I mean, this ability is real sick, but yeah, this is it's kind of a tough spot here. 
I think what I will do is I'll move. Are there bad guys over this way? Straight. No, the answer is so far no. I think that'd be far enough. I'm gonna plant. Plant Casilla back here. I think that's far enough away from chain lightning shenanigans. I could go ahead and give my guy. Yeah, this Abelard has nobody to charge towards. So giving him a bonus round would do nothing for him. None of these people can do anything. I'm just gonna give my fella. I'm gonna buff up his stuff. I'm gonna give him a bonus round. Or I can't move, but I get to shoot somebody to death. So I am behind cover. I can do this. Super, super cool. I might be able to just kill this guy. Flat out. And it overpenetrated, so it also blew up the container behind him. That was sick. And it damaged this cover, but it did not auto-explode it. That's good to know. It was not enough damage to blow that one up. These actually might do a, a significantly better uh, explosion then. Bigger and juicier explosion, even. So that was very helpful. That's one less range fell out. And then Cassia, with your murder beams so bright, won't you melt some faces tonight? Actually, that was the only guy I was able to target. <laughs> Uh, Cassia might be out of shit to do then. That was actually too efficient. Oh, wait, I can shoot people. Okay, so they're out of range for, for, uh, like, using my brain, using, using the eyeball ability, but very much within range to shoot people in the head. Um, I'm not going to be able to kill, I'm going to be able to kill this guy. I'm sad I can't shoot the lens. But I can wound him and make him real sad. And I think that's a good idea. It'll make him easier to kill later on. Wonder who the she is. We keep hearing the name Aurora, so that's probably who we're eventually going to meet up with. He does nothing. He chooses to end his turn with no action. Even after getting shot. What a... It's a bold move. I'll give him that. I don't want to get too close to that thing. Um, I could just close the close the range and just get into melee with this guy. I could charge at him right now. If I did that, if I got if I went to close right now, the problem is I would put Abelard really far from all of us. So we'd have to move up to be able to support him. In particular, Adira. Adira needs to buff him up still. So I think I might actually hold. In fact, I almost want to move him back, maybe a smidge. Is there anybody he can shoot from here? Might be able to shoot him. Shoot him. And shoot this guy. I'll crocodile piss him off. So I could just kind of whittle at them. Yeah, I'm a little bit worried about Abelard getting... Look at all the people that are going to get to go before Abelard gets to go. And again, with no, you know, buffs or enhancements from Adira or anybody else. So, yeah, I'm going to wait until Adira can move before I have Abelard charge in. And I want more people to support him, too. So I... He's not behind cover, which is... Well, he... I guess he is behind cover, because, yeah, he's... That's actually interesting, because, yeah, he's able to reach... And shoot this guy from here. So he's able to lean around this corner, I think. And I think because this is not full cover, the spot right here. I think that's why that's able to work. So it's a 41% chance to shoot. It's not the bestest. We have a similar level of confidence to be able to drop him... Uh, we actually, and it could drop him. It could just straight up kill him. But he's melee only. He has to travel to reach him anyway. So let's take a shot at him. And he shoots him for a lot of damage. It's pretty good. So I will endure. I'll go back to melee weapons. So that we can capitalize on attacks of opportunity if they come up. And sworn enemy, I'm going to say it's you. You're, you're the big guy. Big man on campus. All right. And then it is Pascal. Could just do the old tried and true of enhancing people's weapons. And again, this is weapons we're enhancing, not spells or anything like that. Um, I think I would want to emphasize. Oh, I can't have it go that far, can I? Yeah, let's let's move up a bit. Let's go here. I want to emphasize people using weapons, which is to say, if possible, Abelard and Argenta. Although, I don't know if I'll be able to get both. 
Yeah, looks like we can't get both, sadly. Okay, well, if I'm forced to choose, I would, I would prioritize... Oh, man. Oh, wait, wait, look at that, look at that. We actually can get everybody. Holy shit, we can get everybody except for Adira. Wow, that works out super well. I'm very grateful for that. Let's do that. Charge everyone's weapons up. And then I have... Oh, that was... Oh, no, no, I can move a little bit more, but not much. Is there anybody I can analyze? I guess I can analyze you if nothing else. I've got nothing else to do. Nothing better to do. Or I can move up a smidge. Did that let me shoot somebody? Just you. Yeah. No, I'll stay where I am. I'll stay where I am. I will... I am technically behind cover, but I'm not behind cover against this guy. So I think using that would be a waste. I think I will instead just take a real good shot at you. And remove your face from your body. And then my turn. So a lot of low-hanging fruits have been taken out. They're really liking to hang by this thing. Big lens. They're clustering up a lot around here. It's a shame there's no more explosives. And there's this thing, but it's too far away. Argenta, I'm going to move you up as probably as close as I can. Cultus, Cultus, and then that'll be my turn. So yeah, we'll, we'll have a lot of movement before more people get to go. I don't think she can shoot anybody from here. Yeah, so she can reach. So we just couldn't get her in range, unfortunately. That's fine. Can't ricochet bullets or anything. Okay, no, that's fine. Um, anything else I want to do? No. Just, just move up. Okay, Adira. I'm gonna have her move right here. Can I analyze anybody from back here? I know we're pretty far away. Analyze a few people. I'm surprised I can't do anything against this thing yet. Is there nobody else back here? There's one dude back here who's just chilling. I don't think he's gone yet. And he could sneak around if he wanted to, but he'll probably just come right for us. These guys haven't moved either. Oh, fuck. There's more dudes over here. Not a ton, but there's a few. Okay. Now, let's just go and analyze that guy. Just it's something to do, I guess. And pump up our boy. Make him nice and strong. Get those cool, glowy purple eyes. I'm way too far away for chain lightning, so I'm not going to try it, but... I could either shoot or I could try to blind. Yeah, I can't blind you, unfortunately. I'll just try to shoot somebody. And then somebody's going to be you. But I'm going to miss. 95% chance to hit, and we did miss, but that's okay. You can't tell these zingers. All right, sorry. Moving into position. This guy takes a shot at... A oh, at Argenta, because she's not in cover, technically. He will do the same, probably. But he can't reach. So we got two clusters... Two primary clusters. Miss. He killed a homie, I think. And summoned these things. Now I remember these from playing through Bolt Gain Bolt Gun. I think he killed it was the blind fella. That's who he killed. He killed the blind guy. It wasn't just any other it, any regular fella. It was a fancy schmancy guy. These are Z inch. Is that their deal? They are warp creatures, manifestations. Yes. They're, of course, all about melee. They got talon hands. They're pretty gnarly. Yes, I remember these from, uh, from playing through Bolt Gun. Love that game. I will move myself here, although I didn't we confirm if we moved here we wouldn't be able to shoot any of these folks. I can shoot these guys. But these guys are more... The, f the other folks are a little bit more pressing. I don't want to be up too close to that. I don't want to get in Argenta's way. I guess this is as good of a place I can be. And then I go around the back. Let's go ahead and... Yeah, let's duck behind here. This is probably the safer bet. So I'll go ahead and be behind cover. This guy there. What's up, Lime? Yeah, Z-Inch, right? Yeah. 
magic and cosmic horror. Well, I mean, there's some cosmic bullshit happening here, so I think that's pretty, pretty relevant to uh, the current sitch. <clears throat> Maybe I should have taken a shot at the fire starter, but many other people are going to have opportunities to spank him, so he's going to get got eventually anyway. You've got a pistol, I think, and you've got a rifle. I will focus on the rifle, friend. There we go. What kind of pistol is it? Scrappy auto gun. It is a better choice to take a shot at this fool instead. And maybe just drop his ass? We just dropped his ass, sure enough. They're tricksters, don't like direct combat. Oh, okay, well maybe, maybe it isn't Z-Inch, we'll see, we'll see. Yeah, a little bit sleepy live, I don't blame you. It's probably like 4 a.m. where you are, so if you were about to drift off to sleepy land, I would not hold it against you in the slightest, but I'm glad to see you, Lime. Always a pleasure. Getting blessed by, by the Lime visit is always a good day. 5 a.m., yeah. If you ha it, unless you just woke up, unless it's like morning time. I mean, I guess it is morning, but if it's like, you know, you waking up, it's one thing versus, oh no, I'm just now going to sleep and my life is pain. As I know, you've been doing some, some school stuff, right? I could have Cassia go around behind. I don't know if having her hitting it, from, hitting it from behind would make a lot of sense, but we could. Whom could I reach with my eyeball melty boy? I could, I can melt these fellas. Except not you specifically. Who could I reach with bullets? I could blast some of these fools. I could continue to tickle the leader, cultist leader. I could tickle these guys. Of course, Argenta is going to be able to do some real good hurting on those guys real soon. Um, what I might even do is have Abelard um, close with those guys. As part of me wants to have him charge the Blue Horrors. And just start fucking him up. But there's a lot of shit over there. Um, maybe it'd be better if he came to us. If they came to us. The problem, of course... Is that no matter what I do, this guy is gonna have his chain lightning do some bullshit. Maybe this, maybe the threat is to have Abelard close with these guys and just kind of whittle the ranks of everyone else around them. He's gonna go pretty soon here. In fact, a lot of us kind of go in a line. Oh wait, no, no, never mind, never mind. It's Cassia, and then they. Oh, so the cultists might leave. Yeah, okay, so they move before Abelard gets a chance. So never mind. Never Finish the coursework, but sleep schedule's a little bit silly. Yeah, I understand. Good to see you, Jim. Appreciate you stopping in as well, buddy. Lime says, I'll get sleepies eventually. Yeah, so we can do, though, of course, is we can use my guy to thin these guys down a little bit more. We really have no hope of having Cassia any anybody with her psychic powers, her special powers, so I'll just have her shoot bad guys as well. We would be able to shoot the, the cultist leader. So yeah, we'll do that. I can't have my guy get powered up, but I can have Abelard be powered up for his next turn. Because he will definitely do something weird in his next turn. We just can't have him move right now. So I'll have my guy do another little bonus round. And I'll just be behind cover. And then take a shot. If I'm lucky, I'll be able to kill both of these in a single it's shot. Because it can't overpenetrate. It did not overpenetrate, but we still killed... Oh, I should have actually aimed at this guy because he's a little spicier, but we got it. We got it. That's good enough. Some daily dose. Some 40k cosmic fuckery. There's some fuckery to be found. Some fuckery to be found, Ari. That's for sure. Do I just diddle him a little bit more? I say we just diddle him a little bit more. There we go. Little by little, we're whittling him down. But again, if we kill him, he's going to get resurrected by the Lin. So I don't want to drop him fully. I just want to make him really sad. Before it's time for him to do some fuckery. These guys somersault. That's adorable. Spin dash. They're doing the spin dash from Sonic. All right, so it, I know I can't charge. Although, I here's some bullshit. You ready, you ready for some bullshit? I could back away and then charge at them. And then do a either a cleave or a power attack. Power swing. Cleave would do more damage, so if I can line him up for a cleave, that'd be the bestest. This is where we at. Yeah, this feels pretty cosmic, all right. These fellows with weird like lord's mouths and uh, and tentacle not tentacles but horns and and tentacles actually both. 
question is, can I charge in such a way? I don't know if I can cleave around a hard corner like that. I guess I'll have to find out soon. So let's back up. Back that thing up. What if I went right here? Would I then be able to charge to hit? I'm gonna charge to hit from there. Would that be acceptable? Can't hit you. Unfortunately, we might not have an, uh, a cleave opportunity. What if I moved here and then charged? I could, that could work. And it would put me... Yeah, that actually might just work. That would put me in range. Let's do that. So I'll move over here. This is so fucking jank. But this is very much within my... Within the rule set as being legit. So do, that's, the, that's a kind of a free attack. Oh, but I don't have the action points. Right. Right, right, I forgot. We don't have action points because we, we normally we'd be able to afford it, but my guy took a trauma, so he has one less action point. That's okay. I can still fuck him up. Um, I could... Yeah, let's apply that much damage to this guy. No, that's fine. Yeah. Now nah, I, I fucked up. I forgot about that. We at least inflicted an injury, which is cool. I could brace for impact, but nah, that's fine. Uh, we still got more. We still got more. Before they can move again, anyway. What the interaction is? That's a good question. Yeah, we're probably gonna destroy it before we get a chance to look at it, but Turns you into a cosmic horror. We've seen these before is a thing We've seen them before and we know that they will resurrect Leader fellows like this. So I want to kill the lens before I kill him Otherwise, he's gonna resurrect with full health because he's a freaking cheater 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 and I bet he is a it is one who eats pumpkins a pumpkin eater even now I am behind cover. I think this counts. I think. I'm technically behind cover right now. I know, he's very rude and very not nice, and uh, I'm starting to think he doesn't like us. I don't know, I don't know what came over to me to, to give that, that analysis, but I, I really do think he's starting to not like us. Might be Z-Inch. They're not afraid of fighting, they're just tricksters, yeah. Yeah, these guys somersaulted towards us in a very trickster-like fashion, so maybe they are Z-Inch. And I know Z-Inch is usually like the blue and purple vibes. At least that's my understanding. I will take a shooty pooty. Dead shot at... I won't be able to kill you, but I'll be able... Oh, or I could just take a shot at you. Poultice has just got regular guns. These guys are gonna do a lot more damage. I think I'd rather take a shot at these guys. I can't shoot at the fire starter. He might be able to reach Abelard, maybe. Take a shot at you guys. So I was gonna say that's a more guaranteed shot. Okay. And then Argenta. The original plan was for Argenta to fucking blast these fools. But now I'm thinking maybe it would make more sense. Oh, I should have put her where Pascal is. Actually, that would have made more sense. If I put her, say, right here, would she do this? That guy's get behind really good covers. That guy's gonna be hard to hit. But I could def definitely blast those fools. Or if I went here. Actually, the chances are better, strangely enough, for being right here. It would put me behind cover. I could tell Abelard to duck. Oh, it would blow those. Oh, that could get really gross. All right. Let's not do that. Let's not do that. Um, I could put her, like, right here. And have her blast that away. The downside is that opens her up to this guy. And his fire starting away. So maybe I just stick with the original plan. Put Argenta here and just kind of shoot down this hallway. Oh, wait. Oh, is, can I not lean around the corner? Huh. It's acting like I can't reach them at all, which is kind of surprising from there. What if I stayed put and shot from here? Okay, yeah, then, then you can fuck them up. What are these guys? Do I even need to worry? He's melee. He's melee. He's got a little pistol. Maybe I don't need- Oh, wait, this is a... Uh, he's got a... Probably not that scary, honestly. Probably not that scary. We just want to be friends. Right, that's right. What's up, Unstable? Good to see you, my man. They want to be your friends too much? That's the problem? Gotcha. Gotcha. That, that sounds- <gasps> That sounds about right. I'm really surprised that we can't be here. And shoot from behind cover. I'm really surprised that's not considered legal. What about like right here? Would that be acceptable? Shoot, shoot around there. There, okay, we can shoot like that then. 
Oh, man. What about this? Who goes after Argento? Adira goes. Could we just have Adira melt this motherfucker's face? There's a very real chance we could. Maybe that's it. Maybe we just put her right there. Put it right here. Have her blast these fools. We could even have her run and gun so she can move again if need be. I want to I wanna have Argenta do her best against these guys to make Abelard's job a little bit easier. But I don't want her to be at the whims of whatever this guy wants to do. When does he go? I think he goes next. Yeah, he goes after Adira. How's my confidence I'll be able to do with it to do this? Let's let's go with it. Because these guys can't really do too much. The only person they're really able to threaten is Argento right now. So if we move her out of there, this is probably the safer bet. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna commit to the move. I'm gonna commit to the bit. Uh what I might even do is I might run a gun and just take a regular shot at him. So uh tell him to, we're doing a controlled shot, so our able I need you to duck. A shooty pooty. Absolutely. At these two. Good fucking damage. Straight up killed one of them. Love to see it. Now, unless this guy resurrects them, which would be some bullshit, I will... Hopefully, this won't screw me over run and gun. Oh, uh, okay. We did get a free action point back. That's good. So, I can still take a shot. I could shoot at you, but I can't kill you. I will make... Ooh, not a great chance. Actually, I'm surprised that's only a 45% chance. And this is even also a 55. Surprised that two straightaway shots... I guess because he's in melee combat, maybe that's why. I'll shoot at you. Don't miss. Ah, it's a shame. Okay, well, that's all right. I'm still pretty confident we'll be okay. This Adira is a deer. Uh, good job. Good job, Alex. I will move her back maybe a smidge. I might be able to just drop him. Um, it would be better if he had another stack on him. I could just blind him. Unless he's already blinded or something. What do you have on you right now? You have exploits and that's it. I don't even know if blinding would hurt him that much because they just need to spray. They just need to spray and pray right now. Might be all it is. <clears throat> Move this here. He's just as I'm doing some PS, uh, some PSO2. Now, that's an interesting choice on Stable. I've played a lot of PSO2 over the past couple years. Are you doing PSO2 Classic or New Genesis? Because that's a game I'd like to play more of. I'd be down to join in with you guys at some point if you wanted. I've played a lot of both, but I'd love to do more New Genesis. Or really, I'd be down to do more of either one. I do, I usually do Spellcasters when I play uh, Fantasy Star online. The Wabajack? Oh, man. Just play for a, pray for a sweet roll. I'm down. It's a deal with the devil. Gotcha. That makes sense. Also, Farsight. What's up, buddy? Cabbage or Dramora? Both delicious and lightly sauteed. Some new, new Genesis. What's up, Jet? Jet is one of my PSO2 homies. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, if you and Kasumi wanted some homies to join in, Jet and myself would most likely be down. I don't want to speak for you, Jet, but yeah. Jet, if you wanted to join Unstable for some PSO2 times, that'd be fun. Be funsies. I am going to commit to this movement. It would be... Actually, I'm going to be behind right here, so I'm, I'm behind cover, technically. That way, those guys will have a harder time hitting me. I will... Can I just blast his nuts? No, he's too far away. I will do this. I will look at him in a scrutinizing manner. I... Now, this is a minor psychic power. I think this might mean I wouldn't be able to shoot afterwards. What does blind do, actually? Crap your skills for things. Harder to dodge. Okay, so it would... It would... We would be e more easily able to, to dodge whatever he would hit Argenta with. It's a risk. It's a risk. Let's shoot first. Shoot first, ask questions never. Maybe we'll get a lucky headshot? We got a lucky headshot. Never mind. I had nothing to worry about. It was completely a non-issue. Um, no, I'm, I think I'm going to end my turn there. Unless there was anybody really spicy that I wanted to blind. But he's the only one, honestly. These guys, I don't think it'd be worth it. End my turn. I take a shot at my guy. He takes one damage. Easy peasy. He's going to do the same, probably. He will do nothing. What? Why'd you take damage randomly? What the fuck? This guy just doubled over and is on fire. 
Why'd you randomly take damage, bro? I'm not complaining, but... Anointed... Hold on, did he damage himself? He is anointed cultist. He must have done some bullshit. To himself, maybe. What even happened? Oh, it was the fucking steam! The steam melted this guy's entire penis. And lit this man on fire, and look, he's got his- he's got like a skull. His skull or something. Maybe he always had that. I don't know. He's all fucked up right now. Yeah, yeah, PSO meaning Fantasy Star Online is correct. Oh, Jet's on ship too? I didn't realize you could transfer, actually. That's good to know. Yeah. Yeah, I'd be down to play some time with Unstable and Jet and Kasumi. That'd be really fun. Half cover? Yeah, it's better than nothing. We'll take it. Yeah, yeah, the little steam. So that is an environmental hazard that really fucks you up. Thank, thank you to them for demonstrating that to me. Uh, I could just, f uh, just fucking end this lad. End him entirely. Fully end entirely. Or I could take another pot shot at you and drop that cultist there. If I ended this guy, that would free up Abelard to close and fuck this thing up specifically. I think I will do exactly that. I will be behind cover. I will scrutinize this man. And it, because I don't care so much about doing more damage, I just want a better chance at hitting. I'll I'm going to sense. exploit his weaknesses to lower his dodge chance. And I'm feeling really lucky. So we're going to explode his entire butthole. Never butthole? Shot. Question mark? Exploded. Period. Ship one was emptying out. I remember you saying that usually ship two is has the more action, so which is it's weird how that happens, but that that's just how it goes sometimes. Them's the breaks, so I understand. We could have Cassia just end this man entirely. Fully end entirely. I could have me go again. It wouldn't make sense to have Abelard go again because there's nobody he can immediately charge to. This is too far away. I guess he could charge to the anointed cultist, but I really want him to close here. I think he is he's too valuable to be used to clean up these like little piddly fellas. I want him to go fuck some shit up up this way. Yes, yeah, scrutinize. Scrutinize the cosmic horror. Yeah, we use that analyze ability to like apply exploits to uh, stacks of exploits to a bad guy and makes them easier to hit or do more damage to them, that kind of thing. Environmental, yeah. Yeah, environmental effects. We've seen them before, but this is the first time I've seen them in a combat. Uh, arena right now. Yeah. Kind of kawaii. Oh, because the, because they're so cute, so adorable. Well, the, now they're 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 puddles of blood. Not very. Not a lot. Not a lot of cuteness about that. Sadly, I think I will. I might even. I think I'm just gonna move Cassia up a little bit, maybe. I would actually like to move her about where Abelard is, but it's too far away. And I don't want to get her too up this way, because these guys can still start shooting. Shooting and Putin. Who could we reach from here? We could reach this guy way back here. We could reach this guy and just make him even more sad. I think Cassia has been single-handedly making this guy sad as time has gone on. Maybe I take a shot at him, because he is going to be able to close and maybe even start some damage pretty soon. You're of cultists, yeah. Well, let's do that. Let's let's have Cassia begin that whole that whole ritual. So I'll move here a little bit closer. Uh, first, I will voice of command. Can't Abelard voice of command. Adira, maybe can I voice? I can't voice of command myself. Can't reach Argenta from there. I will voice of command Adira, I think, or Pascal. Let's go with Adira. And then I will have, I think, let's say I want to have my guy do a little bonus round. But again, everybody there is so far away and really not that threatening. Maybe I have Argenta have a bonus round where she can shoot at, I guess, the leader from there. Or maybe Pascal. Maybe what I just do is I have Pascal or my guy. I'll have my guy do it because I can just snipe this dude real quick. Unless I can reach... Oh, I can reach the cultist. Yeah. Um, I am behind... Yeah, let's do that. I'm behind cover. I realize I can reach the fire starter from there. Just blast his ass. Remove him from existence. There you go. Easy peasy. No room for cute stuff. Only death and zealotry. Uh, who's to say that death can't be cute? 
There are 40k memes. There are. There's some very dank ones for sure. Very dank and very weird. Messia could melt this guy. I think I'm going to have Pascal or Argenta melt him. His 2 HP is adorable. Or she could snipe. Not a lot of people, actually. We're out of movement options. Well, since we're out of movement options, so just snipe you. There we go. Nothing not a whole lot better to do. He actually goes to move. Whoa, his chain lightning reaches real far. Good to know. Good to know he moves real far. I will close. Can I do that and then charge this thing? Huh. Okay. What if I move here and charge? That's a little odd. Move here and charge. It's making it seem like I can't actually charge to it. As I definitely want to attack this thing. But I shoot. Is it not targetable? Surely it's targetable. Yeah, it's targetable for sure. Yeah, maybe you can't charge to stationary objects or something. Damon Kul Kulaba? Damon Kulaba? Never heard of it. Sounds weird. And targeting the path. Doesn't count towards the turn. Right, right, right. Because that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for some way I can charge and then devour this, in this thing's entire face. It's weird because it confirms the movement, but it doesn't confirm that that would do an attack on the spot. Unless that square, like it shows me a little icon. Maybe that is sufficient. I don't know. I guess if nothing else, even if I can't charge an attack, it'll at least put me where I need to be. Let's try that. Because I just want to attack. Yeah, that's so weird. I couldn't attack it with a charge. That's so bizarre. But I can do this. There we go. That's ultimately what I want. That's what I want. That's what I really, really want. And then everybody else, I'm going to basically move into position to shoot the shit out of that thing. So I'm going to... A little bit scared to get too close to that thing. But if I get right there... Take a shot at you. Let's do it. We've killed enough of their bad guys. I feel like I could be a little bold. And just start to whittle against this thing. Whittle this thing down. Can I also analyze... I cannot analyze you. You're too far away, but I can analyze you. That's my only option. That actually shows me a little guide path, which is nice. It's worse than you could have ever imagined. That sounds terrifying and great. Terrifying and great. What does Pascal have on him? Disturbed. I think that was from one of the bad guys. Oh, I disturbed myself. Source me. Negative 10 to willpower. How did that happen? How did I get disturbed on myself? It's Pascal. Curious. For nine rounds. And that must have been... Something I did. Some ability I have must have... Must have that as like a chance to happen. Or maybe one of the other bad guys inflicted it upon me. And it says it's from me, but... Maybe it's... I don't know. I mean, I'm not exactly sure what that's getting at. If I get right there, can I take a, uh, multiple shots? I could. I guess if I could shoot at both. Yeah, once again, I don't want to do too much damage to him, and the multi shots could indeed damage um, the bad guy too much. So it's a 23% chance. I think I'd just probably do better. You just take a directed shot. I can't run and gun this time, unfortunately. In fact, I think I run and gun last time. Faith without deeds is worthless. There we go. One more decent shot. That thing is dead zo. Pathfinder rules. Three seconds. Yeah, it's thereabouts. It's about three seconds. Three seconds round or six seconds, however much it is. I remember one of the D and D editions. They said that yeah, each round was six seconds. Or maybe it was three. I can't remember. Um, right. Bring up Adira. Should be able to kill it dead. And that would mean... 
my guy would then go, and my guy could actually kill the cultist leader, perhaps, if he moved into position. Now, between myself and Casillo, we would need to bring him down, because otherwise this chain lightning, we are rife for a big old chain lightning attack, which would be really painful. So, yeah, let's just go ahead and commit to this movement. Actually, speaking of chain lightning, could I just... Actually, no. No, I really shouldn't, because Able Art is right there. Yeah, it's out of my range anyway. Okay. Instead, I will take a shot. Can I still look at that guy menacingly? No, but I can put one on him. Put a stack on him. And then take a real good shot. Break the lens. Now, we can still investigate it, but it is no longer usable now, which is good. That's good. Good, good, good. I will end my turn here. They take a shot at me and Cassia, and they miss because they're a bunch of doofuses. This guy runs behind cover like a Brady cat. He misses his shit. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, yeah I'm down, Path, uh, Jim. I love Pathfinder. Yeah. D&D 3.5, but with more math. Yeah, I, I, love, I love Pathfinder. It is a little dense for those not used to it, but since I'm used to it, I'm all about it. Ship 2, yeah. Yeah, yeah, would be down to join in Unstable. If you're playing on stream or off stream, would be fun. Can I ask what region you're in right now, Unstable? Like, what part of the game you're in? Six seconds? Okay, there you go. That makes sense. Yeah, Pathfinder did it first. I'm, I don't doubt it. Makes a lot of sense. I will move my guy up. Unless I can reach from there, but I don't think I can. Oh, I can. Yeah, I can just fucking finish his ass. His entire ass. I am behind cover. In fact, my guy hasn't moved at all in several rounds. Oops, wrong, wrong button. Can I look at him menacingly from here? Do I need to? I mean, he has a... We have a pretty good chance to, uh, to end this. Of range of the weapon and better hit chance, whereas that would lower their dodge. And I mean, our hit chance is already pretty good. Yeah, in fact, I don't think it can go any higher. I think I would rather. Yeah, I'll just expose. Just expose weakness. On you. Who if not me? It's like I really want him to to not dodge this I'll shot, basically. Personally. All right here we go. Make this be the winner. Let's make this be the wiener. We got the wiener, all right. We shot his wiener right off. All right. Big baddie is dead. Now we do the cleanup. And then Cassia, I will move her. There's a few fellows over here. I put you there. Could you then melt this guy's entire penis down to nothing? Yes. However, before we do that, I'm yeah, so I'll move there first. The navigator is we should get a bonus round. If you have eyes on this guy, he's pretty far away. Is it just those two? That is it. Just those two left. I wouldn't be able to charge at any of them as Abelard, nor could he... He might be able to shoot at this guy. He might have line of sight. It's kind of scuffed with this thing. Uh, versus... She could, like, blow up the, the explodable thing to see if that could make him sad. This guy might have a shot. Yeah, they're, they're, they're hunkering down very well. Or Gent actually might have a shot on him, specifically. I will give it to Argenta. I've got a good, I've got a good feeling about Argenta and her gunnery ability. Me. If you insist, Lord Captain. At the end game, nice, nice. Okay, yeah, yeah. The, on the final region, oh, didn't have, didn't have range for that guy. Definitely don't have range for that guy. Okay, and so I'll just blow up his cover. Maybe the explosion be enough. It was not enough. Well, but it made me feel really cool. It meant, it meant I got to blow something up, and that made me feel really, really smart. It made my pants, it made the thing in my pants tingle when I made an explosion happen. That's pretty cool. Ten to thirteen versus eleven to sixteen, guaranteed. Let's just melt his face. Face, question mark, melted, period. Black Lagoon stuff, I did hear about that. Yeah, the new uh, collab. Now Abelard can move. I can close and delete this man entirely forever, or I can close and probably end this man's existence. Ah! 
and then confirmation <laughs> fucking ripped his head off hell yeah ripped his entire body off and then for no reason I use this because combat's about to end anyway all right Pascal do you want to finish this thing finish him Pedro Pascal assumes the position behind cover here and take a parting shot it won't be able to kill actually no no get right there yeah actually I'm gonna commit to this move get right there we're behind cover so it's a perfect shot now I'll put another stack of exploits upon him it's a little bit more damage is are those things enough I could also make him less able to dodge or actually no I think I should enhance my own shit and enhance, enhance my own shit that sounds nice So I do all of that. Oh, but that. Oh, whoops. Oops, that cost two AP. Okay, never mind. I thought Pascal was going to end this. I should have. I should have looked to see what I was doing exactly. My bads. It's fine. I'll put you here. Can you shoot from there? No, you cannot. Man, her that limited range is limiting us. What about here? Can you shoot from there? No. That's about here. From there. No. God damn. This guy is impregnable. I cannot impregnate you. What if I just put you not behind cover? Do that. And I still missed. Motherfuck. Uh, I'm gonna run and gun. So I can move again. Right here. And then shoot him. How's about How's about that? And still miss. Mother... Alright, alright. Master Train... Master Train with that seven months. Thank you, my man. Master Train, you are, you have masterfully snuck in with the resub. Thank you, my friend. Thank you very much for that resub. Always a pleasure to have you here, man. Hope your evening is going well. Big fan of Black Lagoon. I've actually never I don't I don't think I didn't never even heard of Black Lagoon until this collab happened. I'm guessing it must it's probably been around for a while. As a uh, as an anime series. If it's like a, a pretty well-known one in the grand scheme of things. This guy's got the wiggles. He does. And of course, Argenta, she's more of a mid-range fighter. And and those those uh, chances to hit percentages were not the bestest. But Adira's going to send us off. There we go. We are Gucci. So what do we get as a reward for this combat? What what kinds of things do we learn? Um, let's go ahead and run our lore check. That's how it's done. Covered in ominous heretical symbols, unmistakably emanating the malevolent power of the warp. So... Adira says, I do not like this. This basically confirms what we knew. We knew that there was some... Warp her heresy nonsense going on down here. No surprise at all. Whoa. And then, Seven! Hit us with a raid. Thank you, my friend. Pile of shards mains of the lens that we just broke. We just had a pretty good, a pretty successful combat situation. Uh, was was pretty clean. Not a, not too many messes with this one. So we managed to clean up the bad guys pretty well. I say not too many messes. Don't mind the fact the shredded bodies and and pools of blood and exploded fuel canisters. Don't worry about that. I just mean that our guys uh, didn't get too messy. Skeleton enemies can see. I, I well and also like what magic when you're fighting like a like a dungeon crawler or a dungeons and dragons kind of thing and you're fighting against a skeleton what's holding the skeleton's bones together because presuming there's no muscles to hold it all together they just kind of normally the bones would just kind of fall apart you would think you would think but anyway seven thank you uh seven four with that raid thank you my friend let me add uh add the points together from that raid thank you my friend very very generous i see you were also playing rogue trader hell yeah do you have any clips you want to share from your experience with this game, because you actually might you might recognize this area, you might recognize exactly where we are if you depending on how far you are. Adira keeps exploding. Yeah, we've had her explode a couple times, and I've tried to I've invested in a lot of willpower for her to to discourage her brain from exploding, and I think it's helped. I think we've also invested in a couple of things that uh, m minimize the. Uh, veil degradation that builds up like we're trying to trying to avoid her head from exploding if I can help it 
Uh, but yeah, like whenever somebody raids me though, Seven, again, thank you. Thank you very much. Whenever someone raids me, I always love to ask for clips because whenever someone, uh, whenever someone raids, you are bringing your people here and that's super cool. The least I can do is to show my people uh, a little a little snippet of your content. That way it's like we get the cross pollination, everybody wins. So if you have a clip from a recent stream, it doesn't have to be Rogue Trader, it could have been from a few weeks ago or a couple months ago. Honestly, it's all good, what, whatever you're comfortable with. But uh, any clip you can share, I'd love to see it. That way I can see what you're about, I get a little taste of your content, everybody wins. Uh, our first version of Heavy Armor, by the way, that's exciting, and some notes about uh, stuff going down here. There's the Staff of the Bad Guy, and a bunch of shitty-ass weapons we don't really care too many hex about. Chainmail that we already have kind of on deck for a medium armor person later on. Let's go and grab all this for now. Just got to Footfall, so yeah, just got to got through Chapter 1, very nice, yeah. I, I'm assuming we're nearing the end of Chapter 1, I'm guessing. Mechanicus, I've heard it's good. Yeah, I've heard it's good, Jim. Oh, that's right. Yeah, Unstable's trying to look for more folks to join in on some Resident Evil Outbreak. That would also be good. That might be up Jet's Alley. I had never heard of it until Unstable mentioned it, but yeah, it's a game I am curious about. A pseudonym? Interesting, Jim. That is nice and ominous. Nice and ominous indeed. Unnecessarily good. I'm down. I'm down, man. What's up, Aleph? What's up, bud? Newosphere Warriors of Mars. I like I like what I'm hearing. It sounds pretty badass. Let's keep exploring and gathering loot from our fallen enemies. Of which there is no shortage. Also trying to be mindful of these steam vents because they are looking not nice. We also found something. Is it a trap or is it hidden goods? Found something. What is it that I founded? Oh, I see it. I see it. It's hidden goods. That's really that's really well hidden. We should deal with Ooh, and a trap. It is both things. Right, so Argenta, where are you? You are up, my girl. Go ahead and disarm that thing if you could. You if you could be a deer. Values? And we got a level for that disarm. Well done. Well done. And let's get some more notes. We got some reading to do, boys and girls. I'm excited. And I crack this thing open with tech use, you betcha. I can do that shit. Operation success. Yeah, sounds sick though. Yeah. Yeah, I never heard of it honestly before. Unstable had mentioned it, Jet, but it is something I'd be down to try, so. And I think it's up to four players, so, um, with, between, uh, uh, Unstable and, uh, Kasumi and Jet and myself, we'd be able to get a four-person squad going, if you were so inclined. And go ahead and shut off the steam so we can walk around here safely. I can get some lore on the Imperium. Pretty good chance. Boxcaster indicate it belonged to a planetary warden. The planetary wardens. Visible scratches and traces of blood on the device. Does that mean somebody was wounded while they were using it? Or were they scratching, scratching with like bloodied fingers? I don't know. I'm not sure what that means necessarily. Got a good clip, Seven? I'd love to see it. I'd love to see it, yeah. Yeah, post away. Yeah, that is very much encouraged. It's never like, you don't have to share clips, obviously. I don't want to like force people to, but I I love it when people share them. It's so fun. Um, I'm going to breach the defenses like a boss. They look favorably upon you, that's right. Uh, judging by the accompanying notes, messages were meticulously transferred from paper to the sca sacred, not scared, sacred machine storage. Uh, dispatches are missives. We'll go to missives. Harbinger of Aurora. Hophysize hour is nigh, okay. Doo -doo 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 -doo. The enemy is about to receive reinforcements. Me, Super Hobbit Von Valencius. The ship has entered the system. They'll appear near our positions. Whoever aids our comrades at this threat will be granted. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. So they knew we were coming. Heading for the navigator station. Okay. Our cataphilia. We went there first. Right. Navigator. And, well, we went there second. Navigators and then prison planet. Okay. And then the dispatches. Intercepted a convoy. The governor's underlings. Right. We know about that. Only one got away. He's not long for this world. Okay. Comrades have their hands on the guards of Voxcaster. Okay. They can hear the comms. That's how they're able to plan their moves so well. Good to know. Good intel. Uh, we also have to level up, so we're going to do that. But I kind of want to keep looting stuff before I start doing levels 
and other shenanigans. I'm not going to open that door just yet. Although I wonder if this door leads to the outer area that we saw earlier from the opposite side of the kind of underway. It wouldn't shock me if since we went in through the back door, we were able to get a little sneak peek as opposed to coming in through the front door and having Rise to, to uh, deal with a bunch of bad guys right from the get-go. Get a free knife. Add that to our cargo. A locked safe. Don't mind if I do. Can be opened via the cogitator. Awaken the machine spirit by supplying it with the juice. We'll give it some juice, but shh, but first. Oh, those are the goods that I dropped. I don't want those. Satisfactory. Nice. Yeah, go back to finish it. Yeah. World, World of Warships on Sundays. or Yeah, on Sundays, yeah. I actually used to play World of Warship. War, not Warn Ships. War Ships with friends every once in a while. I was never very good, but it was a good kind of once in a while game with my friends. Which is kind of fun. Unlatch the dampener. I'm not sure what that's going to do. I guess it'll unlatch the dampener. Or, or damper, rather. It'll do exactly what it says it does. I hope I don't do this. If I do this out of order, it won't explode something. Oh, don't no, 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 not through there, not through there. That'll that'll burn your face. Money to be made. Get get away from there. I'm trying to direct people away from the the face meltings, if I can help it. Okay, there we go. And now uncork the corkener. Nothing happens. Okay. There's other stuff I need to do then. Throw the door back this way. Good to play with friends, yeah. Like I said, I was never any good, and, and we were able to, like, sometimes pull off some pretty slick moves by strategizing and whatnot, but it was, uh... It was so easy to just get Shrek in that game, honestly. Like, there were so many times where a well, a, all the best laid plans in the world would be undone by a, a wayward volley of torpedoes that would just Shrek my ass. Gotta uncork that trap. Oh, and another one. Another one. Argenta, that's you. You are demolition specialist. Never doubt me. That one and get that one. And another one. Another one. Gotta go around. Space. Oldest girls online. Yeah. I've never played ESO, but I have a number of friends that played a lot. So I I hear the things from afar. Something else was found. Another trappy. Traps Duty everywhere. Prevails. Just imagine a wizard. The person that writes the lore is a wizard. Is it a name I would recognize? Because I know there's several high-profile people in Bethesda that, um, like, for around the times of Morrowind, were in charge for writing some of the more elaborate Coming lore items. Like Vivex Lessons, all that jazz. There's, like, a few names in particular that are I rather infamous for... Some very creative, well, we'll say is creative lore writing. Supply of the motive force. That sounds so ominous. We've just trapped everything. I'm actually going to explore a little bit more with Argenta. Although she doesn't have the best looking awareness. So I'm actually going to have everyone move so we can all wa walk together. Nuclear powered human obliterator. It would, exp it would launch your ass and it would also freeze the computer. That sounds awesome. And weird, but more awesome. Enormous humming transformers, part of a single and much larger mechanism. We're giving everyone the juice. I want to do this now. Maybe. Success is the only access received. Accept. Maybe I need to do this one first. I Let's see what that one does. Nothing happens. So we got to keep kind of poking around here. Close the relay. Nothing happens. Let's see what's over here. Yeah, Kirk Bright. That's one of the guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, Seven. Yeah, get some food. Yeah, I know it is getting kind of late. A lot of us have, you know, work in the morning, shit like that, so. We got stuff we got to do. I totally get it. But again, I really do appreciate the raid. Stopping in and chilling with us. Uh, super appreciate that, man. A fellow, a fellow road trader extraordinaire. Well, I can't call myself an extraordinaire, but I'm learning. I'm learning. Here's the... Okay, I didn't realize there was a path back this way. So, yes, this was indeed the front door. So we could have gone into the front door to kick off this combat. Instead, we went into the back door and got spicy. Although, we maybe could have been able to get a sneaky shot to start like we did from the other direction. Because there was another view at these at one of these things. These large, large fuel tanks to blow shit up. There's a fellow we didn't loot over this way. 
so that's probably like the next proper way to go. Although the upper the upper way paths are like the good paths. That's like where we really ultimately need to go to continue the big stuff from happening. The big story things. Sacraments have been laid bare, put on public display, didn't quite catch what else he had said there. So it's a technical li litany. Motive force. Hold on. Supply power, make sure the relay is closed. Damper is latched. Some linux are really short. Or shut, rather. No case must the flow be reset before the circuit is closed. And then we power the cogitator. Okay. Relay is closed. Let me make sure it is. I know we we w did it. We walked over here and interacted with a thing that said close the relay. Let us know Let me make sure it stayed closed. Also, there were some goods I forgot to loot. Some Kirkbride lore. Yeah, that's it. That's exactly it. That's the weird shit. Kirkbride weirdness we all love. So close the relay. Uh, nothing happens. So is it closed though? It says close it, and then nothing happens. Maybe I can't close it yet? Hmm. Distribute supply. I mean, the 100% the consistency Just should mean that we're point. good. It says access received. And then nothing happens. Let me, I'm actually going to do this. I'm going to read that little blurb one more time. And then I'm going to, and I'm going to screenshot it so I don't have to like just check back and forth constantly. Oh, except when I move my cursor off screen, it shits the bed. Oh, shit. Okay, I can't, I can't do that. I got a alt tab. So I can grab the little snipper tool. Little snip snips. There we go. Zoop. Okay. So. From the ritual of the mess of the mode of force, so supply power, that happens here. And, it, and these two wires, alright, so we can follow the two wires. Oh. This goes somewhere. Maybe we should explore this. There's some more goods, too. There's a couple things. I didn't even notice this little path this way. Oh, close the... Oh, okay, maybe we gotta do this one first, then. Options open. There's nothing happens, though. The sewers, I've never... I realized that there was a sewer path. Something else to try. Close the relay, nothing happens. Keep okay, but if we follow touch. this, and of course we have this yellow line that goes here. Oh, this just probably goes to this relay over here. Or actually, it goes to this guy. That's red. And the red guy goes all the way here. This connects over this way. Is there anything over here we need to interact? No, there's not. And this leads back outside. Make sure the relay is closed. I'm assuming that both relays are closed. I think we're good. Damper latched. So, these are latched, and I don't want to unlatch them. Wasn't there one more? That's where we came from. What do they look like? They look like these big red boys. There was maybe one more over this way or something? Back here. That's the front. Maybe it just was those two. Because there's 36, but then there's 0 and 37. So you, you want a 39th. I gotcha. Yeah, I get it now. It, it took me a second. I, I'm actually pretty out of the loop when it comes to Elder Scrolls stuff. I'm. Oh, here we go. Yeah. This one's already set. And I, and I don't want to unlatch it. Make sure it is latched. If I interact with it... Oh. Nothing happens. Well, I don't want it to be unlatched. Okay, so I, I guess it means it's okay. I wish it was obvious when something, when you could, like, interact with the things. Maybe nothing can be interacted with until you power it on. Maybe then you can toggle things. But so far, I'm unable to do anything right now. 
Let's here, let's do a quick save. I I don't really want to do any save scumming if I can help it. On the off chance I just don't understand something, I'd, I'd feel like a dumbass if this were to backfire before I could kind of get a chance to figure out what this is, how this is supposed to work. Not be able to pass through an open circuit. Examined in all sacred nodes. Checked. Okay, so now can I do things? No. May the blind be forgiven for their ignorance. Pascal, I don't see you helping me over here, man. He's just giggling at me. Juice followed by madness. Maybe I should open this door? Except... I mean, there, there's like... Connectors that go... Oh, close the relay. Okay, that was the last piece. I just couldn't see it because I wasn't close enough. Okay, now let's try it. Maybe that's what was the missing piece here. Except now I can't do anything. Did I break it already? Unless it's doing things and I just didn't realize it was doing things. I think I might have already broken it. Maybe you get one chance. I can't do anything with this. Nothing happens, right? I don't want I don't want to unlatch it actually. I want to power this on again. Always keep Let's go over here. Maybe there's price. something I have to do over this way. Oh, reset. Here we go. Here we go. Circuit is broken. Everything from scratch. Good lord, this is extremely weird. Close the relays. Okay. Nothing happens. I can't close the relays. Fuck, man. Um, I have to do something with this. Access received. Cool. So some relays you can close, others you can't. It seems. Maybe it has to be done in a certain order. That's how it's done. Access received, but nothing is happening right now. Nothing happens. It must have to be in a certain order or something, because we were able to close one of them. And then it said everything appears good. Good lord, this is... This seems unnecessarily... Uh... Like, obtuse. I tried to power this thing, but I think it would not be wise. I know for a fact nothing, not everything is right. Close the relay. Now it says nothing happens. Okay. Good now then? Hmm. That's how we got here, of course. That's for the first time. I want to unlatch these things, and Pascal continues to mock me while providing no help whatsoever. Pascal's like, Alex, you're a big dumbass, and I'm over here like, I'm trying my best. I, I just don't think we can do anything else. I think we've done everything we can. It just says access received. Yeah, I I guess the best we can do is hit this console again and see what happens. Uh, can't do it. Cables examined. Yeah. Scotch tape and spit universe. Well, I mean, it's, I'm not so much thinking about logic from the perspective of like how this these these mechanisms should fall into place i'm just thinking i don't know what the game wants from me because it gives me an action and then my action does not do anything it says nothing happens and apparently i'm unable to unlatch anything and it tells me no alex you have to close the circuits the oh okay cool how can i close the or close the relays how do i close the relays oh now i can close it okay maybe you close it before Man, I don't know. Let me reread this. Make sure the relay is closed. Check the dampers. Maybe I did something I shouldn't have before interacting with the rest of the relays. Let's try that. It closed one, and I close others. I always keep my options open. As I'm, my, my attempts to interact have been... Uh, yeah, so maybe the problem is I shouldn't have... I shouldn't mess with this until I've closed all these if it'll let me do it. Okay, so we're now back to square one. 
Hey, what's up, Eric? There's more relays. Yeah, maybe. Hmm. All right, can't can't mess with that one. There's one over here. Can I mess with this? No, no, I cannot. So there's more relays. I've messed. I, I've I've closed this one up here. Maybe I need to open this door. Maybe there's something beyond this door that is key to all this. Uh, or an exit to the upper way. Okay, so this is not it. Yeah, I thought maybe that was it. I was thinking maybe the missing piece to all this is you have to click all the relays first. Yeah, Eric, you probably, you probably recognize this area. I don't know if you had the same frustration I did. There is a, there's an order in which you have to do things. And I, each time I think I've kind of got it, uh, it turns out I don't got it. Make sure the relay is closed, check the dampers are latched, and supplementary external relay is shut. Supplementary external relay. There must be another thing I'm supposed to interact with then, because I don't even recognize supplementary external relay, unless it's... No, that's not it. It's not over there. It sounds like there's like a special relay somewhere else. I can't close this. Nothing happens. And I don't think I should mess with these. It makes it sound like this needs to be done in order. Is there something over here? Can't actually go over there, so that's not it. Is it upstairs, maybe? Maybe if I climb up? Nah, that wouldn't make sense. Yeah. I'm tempted to just look it up. To see what it is that I'm... That I'm... There's, like, something magical that I have not clicked on, or I've... Or I've, like, not been close enough to finding. And I think we need to keep these latched. It doesn't say unlatch anything. It says check to make sure they are latched. The dampers. Something over here, maybe? Something, like, hidden behind here? Yeah, I got nothing. So I couldn't unlatch them if I wanted to. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. That's, like, I'm, I'm holding tab right now. That's why uh, certain things... Kind of on their own got become highlighted. So if I don't hold tab, it, you'll see an icon, but it won't say what the things are. But it won't highlight from a... It'll only highlight from uh, so far away. So it, like, for instance, I can't see what these things are. Even though there's stuff over here. So there's one I have to close and only one I have to close. So keep the other ones open then. The relay is closed, not relays. Oh, interesting. Okay. So one relay needs to be closed, and something called a supplementary external relay needs to be shut, which also sounds like they want to be closed. Okay. So this one relay, or no, it was over here. This relay is not the right one. Because now, if I say, uh, over here, if I say reset, and then start the juice, it'll say, uh, nope, well, it does not work. Okay. Yeah. Okay, thank you, Eric. Yeah, that, that might just be the piece here. Alright, so don't heck with that one. That's not it. Let's try this one over here. Try this one over here, then. Divinity 2? I've never played any of the, Div the Divinity games. But I've heard they're pretty cool. Yeah, there's Divinity, Original Sin. Isn't there also Divine Divinity? There's a, there's a few of them. Yeah, I've heard they're all pretty... I've heard all of them are really good. Yeah. Yeah, but I have not touched. That's exact... All those words are exactly correct. You can put them directly in my mouth, Jim. You can stick them right in. Stick them in anywhere you want. Other one that one there was one over here I think I always have a backup plan there's one on the far side there's this one here one more somewhere yeah not this one not this one that's the one I've already tried is there money to be made uh, where is it I thought there was another one this one over here Oh, wait, no, that's the one I've already tried. Well, actually, is it? Is that the one I've already tried? 
Nothing happens. Uh, I'm, I'm just, I'm close to giving up on this and just moving, either looking up the solution or just leaving. Because so far, the only one I'm able to interact with at all is this one. Yeah. Everything appears to be correct. Mm. This is very, very bizarre. It's just very inconsistent. Just cheese it. I just, I, I mean, it's not even like I'm finding the right things to interact with and doing them in the right order. The only thing I found that does anything is this one panel. Everything else just goes, eh, nothing happens. Divinity's pretty tough. Yeah, I've heard they're pretty tough games. That, that tracks with what I've heard. Everything next to the machine. I, uh, I, I saved a little note. I saved a little, I, I saved a screenshot. It says, make sure the relay is closed. Actually, first it says you must apply power, then make sure the relay is, relay is closed. So, I thought this was supply power, though. Hold on. I thought uh, I thought that's what this, not this. That's that's the overall reset. I thought this thing was supply power. Well, I can't see it right now. I know that doesn't become clickable until I do this. Circuit is broken. Yeah, so I thought this was supply power, but this is the first thing in the list. So if this doesn't become clickable until the end, it means there's something else wrong. So it says, you must supply power. Then they say, make sure the relay is closed. So maybe... Maybe I shouldn't close that one now. Maybe I reset this. Maybe I'm, I've got it wrong. Maybe the, I've got the starting process wrong. Maybe that's the starting process. So I reset the supply and then maybe now I flip this. Maybe this is what they want. Nothing happens. Okay. Our starting. Hmm. So I reset this guy. Is this clickable? This is clickable. I click this. Uh, that's not it. All right. Yeah, yeah, Eric, seemed, it, sound, it sounded like I was actually on the right path for a second. So you reset. Circuit is broken. Okay, got to start from scratch. So this is, this, maybe this is step one. This is step one. So this is us, this is the reset. This is us supplying power. Make sure the relay is closed. Okay, so the only relays to check are this one. Nothing happens. Let's try this one over, uh, over here. There's because there's three of them to try. Let's try this one. Wait. Check that in a second. Nothing, okay, it's not that one. Let's try this one up here. This one. My success is an okay, that's not it. Certainty. Go by the order of the wall. Well, I'm. I, I think that's my issue. I think I'm misunderstanding the instructions. They say you must supply power. And then make sure the relay is closed, and then check the dampers. Gotta be correctly distributed. The flow must be reset. In no case should the flow be reset before the circuit is closed. Yeah, there's three of each. Yeah, so you have to find the right things through trial and error. But I'm, I think at, at the core, I'm misunderstanding yeah, I, I am, I'm truly lost here. Um, yeah, maybe, yeah, maybe I should just move on. Maybe I shouldn't fuck with, like, looking up a solution. That's kind of cheating. Um, Unstable asks, can we do some games? Um, at some point, Unstable, yeah, for sure. I know you, you had said that you were wanting to do some, um, that, uh, that Resident Evil game. And yeah, I'd, I'd be down to play. I know you said it'll take some setup. So yeah, I'd be down at some point. Let's look it up. Yeah, I don't know. I feel a little bad just like do it like just cheating here. Um here, so 
for anybody curious, I'm, I'll, I'll, I'll pose it to you guys to see if maybe your brains understand this better than mine do. Because because I saved a screenshot of it. Here is the text. Here's the blurb. And we can pause it so we can all see it. But, um... But yeah, but yeah, but to Unstable's question, yeah, I'd be down at some point to do... If it's if it's the Resident Evil Outbreak thing. Because, yeah, I know we, we were kind of talking about um, just getting the setup for it. But I know it's through emulator. Oh, Divinity 2. Um... The problem is I don't want to commit to too much because we already talked about Resident Evil Outbreak. Um, I don't know if I'd want to juggle too much all at once, especially if we're going to be doing more XCOM as well. Blue, it's not very good. Yeah. So perform the ritual. With the motive force. So supply power. Supply power I thought was this device. But it seems like that's what happens at the end, I think. Or maybe that's... Well, hold on. Maybe I'm wrong. The relay's closed. But that's the thing, too. Should the relay be closed before you supply power? Make sure the relay is closed. Put the dampers latch. I think that's already okay, because I can't... I couldn't unlatch them if I wanted to. This is the beginning. It starts and ends here. So I... Okay, so maybe... Oops, oops. So if I do this now... So, it's a problem. It makes it sound like you fucked. It's, it makes it sound like I fucked up. But that that message makes me think it's you, you did. I I have something set up wrong. Try all the relays. Okay. Well, we know there's the one that works. Sometimes. But only only in certain situations. So we try this. Nothing happens. Try the other one. Yeah, Divinity 2. Yeah, I, um, I, I, I've heard the games are very good. I've heard the series is very good. Um, and I, I think I would I like them for sure. My options open. But yeah, I do worry about keeping too many plates spinning. Uh, or, you know, committing to too many things all at once. Yeah, every other week. Um, I don't know. I, like I said, I'll, I'll think about it, but, um, I don't know. I, 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 I worry about, like, trying to balance too many things. Like on, on a semi, you know, kind of a semi-regular basis. Um, trying to keep too many plates spinning. Just keeping the schedule straight in my head and, and, and also, if, you know, for, for that matter, for, for everyone else too. Alright, so we got this one closed. We'll assume that's the one that's correct. And no other relays need to be messed with. Check the dampers. Okay, so maybe there's still something we have to do with the dampers. It says to make sure they're latched. So unlatch seems not good. Like you don't want to unlatch them. We'll still check them. Maybe there's still like a thing you have to do. Maybe like our guy gets up to them and say and says like, "Oh, this one wasn't latched. Let's now secure it." Or maybe there's something that has to happen. To so check the one. Okay, so it's unlatched, which is bad. Then maybe it's good. Maybe it's good that it's unlatched. Okay, and then there is one more thing. That was the right one. Okay, so you want to unlatch it. Maybe I'm worrying too much about the words. They say, keep them latched. And I'm over here saying, oh, that's bad. I don't want them to be unlatched. Um, and then find one of these things. Because there's a handful of these devices. Or wait. Oh, wait, no, not those, not those. On the other side. Over here. Not yeah, not this thing. One of these things. Distribute supply, distribute supply. Okay, we just have to, I think, hope it's one of these. I always get the Okay, I think we screwed it up. Because it says nothing happens. Unless, unless, maybe we keep trying. Everything is correct, okay. Distribute supply of the motive force. So, maybe that's the supply power? Correctly distributed. Let's see if that's enough. I don't reset. I go over here Always and press this button. The prize. No, I can't reset that button. I can't press that button. I think now I press this reset. Do that. No, no. Oh, 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 oh. He says he says to read the thing. The relay is closed. Check the dampers latched. And no case must the flow be reset before 
the circuit is closed. Oh, oh, supplemental external relays. There's another relay somewhere. I'm guessing it's just any one of these. He says another relay. Okay. That'd be one of the other ones then. I do appreciate the help, Eric. This is a... Uh, if, if you weren't here, I would have given up and... and either moved on or or just looked up the solution and felt like a dingus i still feel like a dumbass this 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 puzzle very much makes me feel like an idiot um but but you are making me feel at least validated in in uh knowing this is definitely a weird one i think it's over here yeah it's over here i guess it's external to the room there we go this one okay No case must the flow be reset before the circuit is closed. So I'm assuming now that the proper circuits are closed. Oh wait, no, the light, the, the thing is lighting up now. Okay, so it's to unlock a safe. All right, so after all that, after all that, something unlocks. Oh, it's this thing. Okay. And it's, yeah, <laughs> he, he wasn't wrong. Yeah, he wasn't wrong. It's like the loot isn't that good. That's something that actually just goes right to cargo because we've already we've already looked at these. I do appreciate the heads up, Eric. Yeah, had to try for an hour. Yeah, that is disappointing. I would have looked up the solution before going for an hour, but yeah, that was that was pretty miserable. <laughs> oh man, yeah, that's a frustrating one for sure. Yeah, when it's esoteric, the issue I kept coming back to was. What do they mean by supply the power and then make sure the relay's closed and then check the dampeners, or the dampers rather? It, I, I just didn't quite what they, I, I'm guessing what they meant was you have to like secure these things. But the word choice made me think there were some things I wasn't allowed to check or, or like shouldn't be messing with. Just very, very weird. Very weird and very inconsistent. So it, it makes me wonder if, if maybe it was just my gross misunderstanding of what they, of like how these devices work or if yeah i don't know maybe they maybe some word choices could be switched around a little bit but regardless regardless we freaking out that that was that was a miserable puzzle <laughs> but thank you to eric for for your patience and for your assurance that no that that puzzle is is a it's a weird one it's a very weird one we could go back up or we could check the sewers i am curious about the sewers we know that the main objective wants us to go back to the upper path but I'm just curious what this might lead to. I'm guessing it'll be a dead end. The experience is nice, though, yeah. Yeah, the experience is good. Yeah, XCOM, yeah. Yeah, maybe Divinity. It's it's definitely a thing I would I would keep in the back pocket for the future. For future things. But yeah, I I, I worry too much. Of, I, I worry sometimes about like starting up too many side projects and not finishing them, that kind of thing. And, uh, and keeping too many things running in parallel. Because I know I would definitely lose track. I would lose track of, of trying to... Uh... Oh, no, I just I just leave those. Yeah, leave those things. Um, I know I worry about just, just keeping the schedule straight, losing track of, of when certain things would happen on certain weeks, that kind of thing. I, I would want to wrap up a few other little side dealios beforehand. Sometimes things into a word salad just got the smooth brain. My brain felt real smooth in that in that uh, in that puzzle, and my brain went real smooth. That's for sure. Divinity two, yeah. Well, I feel like I I I feel like I would probably be better suited to maybe try an earlier Divinity series, a Divinity game. Um, I don't know anything about the Divinity series other than I've heard they're good. But I, I'd be curious to try one of the earlier games first. So do you'd I, you would level before I, I do too much here? Oh, you're right. I haven't actually leveled up. Right. That's a good point. Good point. Hopefully this will be pretty quick. No, I that 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 situation in the previous room definitely took a, a while here. Um, I could do. I think my guy is the is the warp lore guy, but I see lore warp is not an option here. Awareness wouldn't be a shabby idea. I can't do logic. Thank you. This also wouldn't be bad in case we do something later on that does not include Pascal. Medicaid also wouldn't be a bad idea. Um, plus 10 to all these things. And none of these are bad choices. I would say... Let's do awareness. That sounds nice. 
And then perception. Probably perception. Or weapon skill would be nice, but I think perception is better for, for my guys out of combat abilities. So let's go with that one. Teleportation. Oh, good to know. Good to know. Technically connected. Well, that's the thing. I've never played original Baldur's Gate. So I would I would like to kind of experience some of the older ones. Some of the old school stuff. I'm gonna complete that. I think all these levels are gonna be pretty quick in that regard. So yeah, that actually would be nice. That'd be that'd be nice if it um oh this this one's is different. It'd be nice if the systems were fairly similar, so it'd be pretty easy to pick up and, and run with it. They're pretty old school Diablo clones. I like it. I, I do like me some old school Diablo kind of third person vibes. There's also real time strategy. I was gonna say, yeah, I, I assume they're closer to Baldur's Gate, like original Baldur's Gate, but I've never even seen gameplay from them. I, I have watched zero zero minutes, at least I, I don't know of it, uh, seeing an instance of seeing any gameplay from the games. So I, I assume that there's they're like kind of Baldur's Gate like at, in a general sense, but yeah, I, I've I've uh, managed to to yet to experience them. Either first hand or, or second hand by like watching someone else play. But yeah, all this time I just I, I assume that um in fact wasn't Isn't the developer for Baldur's Gate 3 one of the developers that worked on some of the Divinity games? Because I heard that's kinda how they cut their teeth on like that style of game. They skip fourth edition. Well supposedly that was for the best, because I know a lot of people did not like fourth edition. Yeah, yeah, just going by the additions, yeah. No, I've never I never played fourth. In fact, I've never played fifth either, so I'm kind of behind the times there, but done a lot of 3.5 and Pathfinder over the years. What do you pick for Abelard? The brace for impact one. The problem there is we don't really get to use that all that often because it's a one per it's a one per combat kind of thing. Epitome of slaughter. Contemporary health, but you can't get any more than four. And that's based on willpower? No, toughness. Okay. Doesn't seem very good. When they're attacked, they gain one stack. Oh, but maybe that means you get f up to four each time. At the start of their turn, they gain one temporary round for each stack. So maybe it's not a one-time use. Maybe that's where it gets good. Because I was thinking, you only get four HP. That's not very good. But maybe it's each time. And maybe it's every single turn. Unless the stack of Epicenter Slaughter... Unless it gets spent... Yeah, until the end of combat. I think it means you could, if you get attacked four times... Over the, before the end of combat, then each round you're getting four HP. Maybe that's what that's going. Which is actually pretty good. Oh, and then there's Original Sin, right, yeah. Uh, okay, I gotcha. Maybe that's Representative Assault is actually pretty good. Uh, enemies in, in their adjacent cells. Damage Deflection is good. That is good. I already have that one, I'll unstar it. Range attacks against the warrior, that's the thing. We don't, we're not going to do range attacks a whole lot. Oh, their hit chance with range attacks. Oh, against me. Okay, that's kind of cool. Damage deflection for their first attack. Kind of nice for their first attack made by every... Wow, that's pretty good too. You're an enemy affected by sworn enemy. We gain temper... Oh, that's kind of nice. Near an enemy. I wonder how close is near an enemy. Does it say if I right click? Ends our turn in an enemy affected by... Yeah. Hmm... I don't know. I'm worried that near means like right next. To, like, yeah, melee. I think you're right, Eric. I think that means like within range of uh, fighting times. That would be really good for bosses. Two plus toughness. That's that could be pretty sick, actually. That could be pretty sick. So if we're fighting something real scary, and we keep that per that one enemy as our our sworn enemy that could be pretty powerful i might just have that one selected just thinking about scary fights later on uh less armor points which is nice or armor points less action point use which is good 
get an extra action point there. Um, area attacks are, are nice, although we don't get to do them too, too often. And again, that's more, that's kind of nice, but it's less, it's going to be less of a, of a thing to consider for like really scary fights, like boss battles. When we have like a big singular bad guy, this is more for, for just cleaving through cannon fodder. Extra opportunity to do less damage to us. I think I'm going to go for this one. I think that could really do, do have a, a, some cool synergies later on. Probably toughness make the most sense for our guy right now. I think normally his toughness is higher, but he su he sustained a trauma, which lowers, uh, yeah, a lot of things. That's why his strength is so shitty right now. Strength wouldn't be bad, but as a tank, I think we want him to be tough. So let's let's keep the toughness then. Weapon skill wouldn't be a bad idea. That would raise his stuff up to five, a plus five that is. Hmm, that actually is kind of tempting. That would just, you know, be more damage in general, but a toughness is just always such a good idea. Let's go for that one. As a tank, like, we have everybody else to focus as DPS. We want our tank to tank. So let's go for that. Yeah, that move soon, Unstable. It is exciting. It is very exciting, yeah. Yeah, like I said, I'll, I'm gonna, I'll keep the, the, um, the Divinity idea kind of in the back pocket. For sure, because it is it is very much in my periphery of, of a game I, I would probably enjoy. That's a good point, too. Yeah, that's the toughness bonus. Yeah, which we, we have a vested interest in upping each time or as many times as possible. It is. Yeah, it's the same developer. Gotcha. Okay. There's things that both games did better or worse. It's tricky because that because uh, Baldur's Gate three of of course is like one of the best games ever. It it really sounds like it's something special. It's, it's not just like a pretty cool game that did some cool things. Apparently, it's really sp it's really spectacular. And naturally, this game comes out not too long after Baldur's Gate three makes such a big splash. Naturally, this game gets compared to Baldur's Gate three a lot. I imagine. To the chagrin, maybe, of the develop of this game's developer and publisher. Because I'm sure in the grand scheme of things, this game probably isn't that good compared to Baldur's Gate 3. I mean, it's a pretty good game, but it's probably not Baldur's Gate 3 good. But like like uh, Jim said, there probably are some, some overlaps. And yeah, maybe even some things that one game does over the other. I'm sure there's stuff Baldur's Gate 3 does better than this game, but even vice versa. I'm sure there's like trappings of things in this game where if someone's played both, they go, Oh, wow, that's kind of cool. Like, that's a neat thing that they did there. Um... But yeah, I, I, I would imagine that it's kind of hard to really compare it with Baldur's Gate 3 because I know that game has been, has, has really, uh, you know, really blown some minds with how good it is. Also, speaking of mind-blowing people, people who are mind-blowingly charismatic and handsome and devilish and are great in bed. Anyway, uh, April Lama, thank you for that raid. Thank you, my friend. I, I didn't have a good third thing, so I just decided to make it weird. Yeah. It's because they use 5th edition? Gotcha. 5th edition. I, can, I know it's not everyone's favorite. I know not everybody loves the newer D&D edition, so I get it. April Lama says, high praise. Listen, April Lama, I just calls it how I sees it. Now, I don't have first-hand experience with 8-Bit Lama's uh, in-bed uh, prowess. I can just assume, based on his stunning charisma, this man knows a thing or two about a thing or two. Yeah, more XCOM. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. We have a lot. We have, there's, it's a lot of games. Yeah, that's the thing too. That's part of why it's daunting because I know these are all long games. So that's why I'm like, oh, it's, it's intimidating. It is intimidating. Doing some dishonor, by the way, 8 Lama. I, I am honored. I'm honored that you would raid me. That is fantastic. Thank you, my man. Do you have any clips you want to share, 8 Lama? You know, I love it. You know, I love it when this man shares a clip from a big old raid. If you have like a recent stream that was, that had something goofy or something silly or something wild. I'm down. I'm down for the clippies. So if you got a good clip to share, or even a mediocre clip, even a boring clip, get, give me a clip where I, we, get, we can watch you sleep, and we get to see your, your beautiful eyes as they fall asleep in a slumber. I don't know why I'm making it so weird for once. Only once. For once, I'm making things weird. They're confident in their product, yeah. Yeah, which is good, as, as they should be. As they should be. The Bone Garden, that's what's up. Anyway, yeah, late to the raid, doesn't matter. We're glad you're here in any capacity. It costs a lot less. Yeah, that's a fair point, too. Yeah. Yeah, this game is, is very much the cheaper choice. 
Uh, and of course, it just came out. It's, of course, it's not on sale right now, which is a shame. I was secretly hoping it'd have like a maybe a 10% discount on the Steam sale. I know Baldur's Gate 3 is like, I, I think, a 10 or 20% discount right now. But yeah, doing the DLC for Dishonored, very nice, man. Yeah. Yeah, I'm ex I, I am looking forward to Outbreak, because that sounds pretty sick. That does sound pretty sick. Brought in some people, too. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, they, they put in a lot of resources to Baldur's Gate 3, and it shows, for sure. Horrendously failing? I'm down. I'm down. We're playing Rogue Trader. Rogue Trader is a CRPG more along the lines of old-school Baldur's Gate. Old-school Divinity, like we were saying. However, it has some XCOM-like aspects to its combat that make it sort of a tactical RPG kind of situation as well. It's a very good game. We're actually leveling up our folks right now. She is our spellcaster, our psycho character. Logic and tech use wouldn't really make sense for her. I've been doing awareness, but I think I might do maybe a uh, warp lore, perhaps. Not a lot of people are great at any, any of these things. And, or I could just do Medicaid. That would bring her to be pretty in line with my guy. I think, yeah, in fact, you can see here, mine is, is already 50 as it is. So this would make her the second good lore, warp person. I think I might just have her do the warp one. So let's do that. I can't do willpower, so I'll instead do either intelligence or perception. I think, I think she has some things that are based on intelligence, actually. So maybe intelligence makes more sense. Um, can I look at her? Let's see, I think it'll show here. Willpower resistance, that kind of thing. How is that calculated? Is that willpower? Uh, whoop, well, WP is willpower, yeah. That doesn't really do us any good. 10%, that's based on perception. Oh, okay, so maybe perception is worth it. I was not so sure it would be. That's probably... That is intelligence. Okay, so maybe the archetype abilities are intelligence. But her, like, cool spell casty, spelly boy things... Those might be based on... Perception. Psy rating... Yeah. Okay. Okay, that's good enough for me. So... I said... Warp. Lore. And then... Perception. Brings it up to a plus five. There we go. Very good stuff. Very good stuff. Yeah, just post in the, post in the chat exactly. Yeah. Yeah. They're pretty different systems. They are. And that's the thing. It's it's kind of unfortunate timing for this game's developer because Baldur's Gate 3 is up here. And I'm and this game is good, but it's it's kind of hard to compare them. And it is an, just unfortunate timing. That's how it goes with some games. Where a game comes out, it's a very good game. But it comes out on the heels of an extraordinary game that has just enough in common that there's an obvious association and it does not always do so flatteringly. That's what happened with the original Prey and Portal because not a lot of people re remember the original Prey and it was it got pretty good reviews and did a lot of cool things really well. But then Portal came out and a lot of people credit Portal as being like the OG portaling shenanigans kind of game, but really... The original Prey did a lot of things that Portal did, in some cases better, but Portal was the sleeker and more uh, like condensed version of that experience, with the, at least with Portal puzzle, sol puzzle solving and whatnot. Uh, it's just kind of unfortunate how that played out for them. And uh, yeah, not too different from this game. Also not too different with Starfield, because Starfield in general had been hyped for a bajillion years. And it comes out, and everyone says it's a good game, but then Armored Core 6 came out, and then Baldur's Gate 3 came out, and all these other amazing games come out, and suddenly we all forget about Starfield, because it was good, but not, like, that good to compete with the big dog. So, you know, I don't, I mean, I don't think Bethesda's gonna lose, I don't think they're gonna lose any sleep over it, they're not, they're not gonna not be able to pay their bills, I think they're okay, but still, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of unfair in a in the grand scheme of things, but them's the breaks, that's just how it is. That's just how it is when it comes to games releasing and, you know, there's there's variables you can't control, obviously. Did we get a nut button from Aleph? We did. We did get a nut button. Bam! Damn, thank you, Aleph. Yeah, I, I did miss that, unfortunately. It's It was important. It, no, that's it, good work, El Gas. That's good what? Good work, that is. Stuff, it wasn't that great. Yeah, I, I've heard it's good. I've heard it's a good game, and it's pretty good. Like, a pretty good game. 
but not game of the year good obviously we're choosing uh talents now yeah there's oh wait wait is this the one that gets us the medium armor thingamajig is it second skin that's the one does not reduce dodge yeah that's the one we want to get that's the one we want to get we already have that one so second skin medium armor does not reduce dodge that's the obvious choice here now she can use better armor and not lose that crappy uh not lose the dodge bonus because our dodge bonus is very good right now i want to keep it good and also have her take less damage excuse me raptor runs good on steam raptor is that a is that the name of the game or is that like a like some kind of system or some kind of engine ballistic skills 55 we can't raise it up again i would say probably agility if not agility then maybe strength wouldn't be bad because that would let her wield stronger weapons or, or heavier weapons we'll just do agility for now lock that in gets it up to, to a plus six which is nice very good so pretty quick pretty pretty simple options right now persuasion or commerce probably oh not perception persuasion oh okay i was reading the wrong one commerce wouldn't be bad persuasion is good commerce could also stand to be good they're both solid choices and both would be a guaranteed plus one coercion could also go actually yeah let's let's see over here yeah she's the best persuader by far Abelard is only slightly worse at commerce. I might go for coercion, actually. Carouse would be Abelard. He's way better. Lore of the Imperium is worse. Awareness is my guy. Lore of Warp is my... Yeah, I'm thinking maybe coercion, just because that's... She's she's the lowest one, or she's the highest one, rather. And um, it is only a 45 so for coercion checks, I think that'd be the better choice here. And then I would probably say fellowship for her, or maybe willpower. Willpower wouldn't be bad, but maybe fill. I'm I'm thinking fellowship. I know she has a bunch of skills that are better with higher fellowship. We'll do willpower next time, probably. There we go. It's a it's a video game. Gotcha. It's the name of the game. Yeah. Top down scroller and it runs pretty well on Steam. Yeah, I mean, there's definitely instances where old games work really well on Steam or good old games. But I, I, I struggle to think of an instance where a an old game works better on Steam than good old games. Usually it's both, but sometimes GOG is the clear winner. You could be a logic guy. Awareness. Oh, I might do Medicae. Medicae might be the nice choice here. Or Lore for Xenos. Ooh, that's tempting. Let's do Lore for Xenos. Wait, hold on. Who, who would be the next oh wait i've got really good lore for xenos oh shit never mind in that case we'll make him better at medics yeah medicae is the one to go then oh whoops need to click one of these and then perception weapon skill ballistic skill it's a shame because i don't know what his perception would do necessarily intelligence is what a lot of his stuff is based on um weapon skill like would be nice it would raise that to be a plus six but that's melee though and we're usually giving this guy guns maybe i should just go for a perception i'm actually going to double check what are some of his things what are some of those things based on and bonus and bonus and bonus whoa yeah so a lot of these are int bonus based but surely some of them are perception there's int. yeah a whole bunch of these are int based there's Poe with the raid. Poe, you guys were doing some... Was tonight Lethal Company? I'm trying to remember. I know you were doing Lethal Company a few days ago. Let's do a quick shout-out for Poe Boy. Let's see what they're up to. Oh, tonight was Redfall. That's right. That's right. I know you were doing Lethal, Lethal Company recently. I asked because we actually got to play Lethal Company for the first time a couple days ago. Oh, no, it was yesterday. Not a couple of days ago. One days ago. And, uh, yeah, it was awesome, and I want to play it more. But you're doing some Redfall tonight. Uh, was this your first time playing it? Because I, I remember when that game came out. I know some people loved it, some people not so much, but I hope it's gotten better since. Um, just because I know it was, it was, uh, uh, some people said it was, like, a generally good game, but, like, wasn't amazing. They were hoping it would get built up a little bit more. The dodge of the enemy, Yeah. Yeah, I'm just wondering if there's anything that this guy has specifically 
that uh, that does that is based on perception. I legit can't remember if he has something that is special in that regard. I know he since he is a since he is a, uh, a, a what's it called an operative an operative. He gets a bunch of things that are based on perception here. But I don't know if I'm going to use this guy's operative features all that much because my guy's an operative. So I think to that end, it might make more sense to focus on his other abilities. Um, yeah, which would be yeah these kinds of things. The origin talents. And it seems like these are all int-based. So yeah, I want to I raise his intelligence as soon as possible. As much as possible. So I was curious if there was anything that he has. Things like, oh, here we go. This is what I was looking for, yeah. Perception bonus, yeah, that kind of thing. So some of them are based on perception, yeah. So there we go. That's what I was looking for. That's what I was looking for. And then Black Channel as well. Coming in hot. Thank you, my man. Black Channel, you're too good to us, man. Thank you, my friend. Let me switch over here. Grab this. Awesome. And add the points to that one. Thank you, Black Channel. We had Poe rate us with some Redfall. I'm going to go out on a limb and ask if Black Channel was also Redfalling it up real quick. Do a quick shout out for our homies. There we go. Doing some Redfall as well. Do either of you have any clips you want to share? Because I love getting to see clips whenever someone raids. Yeah, let's go for that. Let's go for that. That's awesome. Um... Yeah, we're leveling up our folks right now. Leveling up the homies right now. I think we're going to give this guy more medic skill. And I think I'm going to go for perception. Because, yeah, he does have some skills that are based on perception. And right now, our perception's not great. Let's go with that one. And there we go. We've leveled everybody up. We got there. We got there. He says, it's possible I might have something. Because, yeah, you probably know the deal by now. Whenever someone raids, I always ask for clips of, of anything they want to show off. Because I love getting to see the cool stuff that our friends are up to. Black Channel and Poe Boy are two excellent streamer homies who play lots of cool co-op stuff. They do indie games. They do horror games. They do uh, everything in between. They've recently done some Lethal Company. And of course, a lot of people have been playing Lethal Company, but um, they were playing that a couple days ago. And tonight, they were checking out some Redfall. Um, and yeah, I hope the game was fun. Like I said, I know that some people were not loving the game when it first came out, but I've, I would imagine they've probably made it a lot better. I would imagine they've continued to build it up since it first released. I hope it is. I uh, hope it was a good time. You have to work tomorrow, then you're off. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if you had a similar situation where there's like this kind of uh, this this kind of like delayed effect of certain holidays being observed on certain days. Because Christmas Day fell into Monday, but Christmas Eve was Sunday. So if you get both days off, there's like this weird kind of staggering effect. It's it's very strange, but it's nice because hey, it means we get a few days off, which is nice. So we'll take it. Kills two or more bad guys with a single attack. Uh, the attack doesn't spend the movement. That's kind of nice. So we could move after shooting, presumably. Only if we kill two or more bad guys with a single attack. Which does sometimes happen with our guy. It also can happen with this fella. Although we already have we have better boots for him. I might give that to. I don't think of instances where we, we tend to kill a lot of bad guys with a single attack. It would probably be either of these two. I'll give it to... I think I'll give him to Adira. Because she has that chain lightning skill, which is really good. Which is really good at blasting people. We're playing some Rogue Trader, by the way. Warhammer 40k Rogue Trader. The game is very good. It is, at times, pretty challenging. But I'm having a really good time with it. It is very good, and uh, it is... Uh, here we can give her medium armor. There's a lot of systems that are kind of interlocking. It is, uh, there's there's definitely a lot for sure. I'm surprised that her, that didn't, like, make her armor look significantly different. Um, yeah, I can't give that to that her, sadly. Not the but this is, I think, the better choice compared to this guy because she does not get the dodge penalty. So the dodge penalty can be ignored. And it's more armor for her, so to me it's, it's a, it's a no-brainer. 100% dodge of the agility is more than 40, where her agility is more than 40. Actually, hold on. Oh, so it does go up by 95. Okay, so be slightly better dodge or slightly better armor? What's the question there? She is our main agility person. Is there somebody else who would get this benefit? 
because right now her armor is 30%. So yeah, it's you're kind of trading one of the one for the other. So somebody else who could benefit from that. Not my guy. Not this guy, though he's got medium armor already. She might be the only person with agility that's better than 40. She is. She is. Okay, well, I guess since she gets bonuses for dodging, I think I will have that sin skin stick with her for the time being. But eventually we'll find better medium armor. So we'll spec out of that when the time comes. Gonna get some dinner? Yeah, of course. Of course, I know it is getting pretty late. I, we'll be wrapping up in, in a little bit for sure, but... Uh, but we're gonna we're gonna do a little bit more combat, a little bit more exploring. We're in the sewers right now. We're kind of we're kind of in this this battlefield area where there's there's this, all this combat happening on the surface, and we're exploring little side paths, and we're and we're getting a lot of interesting encounters, and and uh, we're get, we're like learning more about the about this this cult or, or this 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 operation that we're seeing here. This is not just like a couple gathering of heretics. This is very much a uh, a series of bad guys. That are that know what they're doing. Like this is a known, uh, organized operation here. So we're trying to like kind of gather intel about what this all means. We actually got these in the previous area, and I never actually read these. So they say a dangerous enemy, me, foiled. Brother Twilight's plans. I wonder if that's the guy from. Oh yes, that from right, right, at Minoris. Oh wait, no, that's where we are right now. Majoris is where we were earlier. I think that's referring to the prison break. I think that was the prison break that we thwarted. In the words of Aurora, I don't know who this Aurora person is, but we've heard that they are a... a uh, uh, the person inspiring or leading the charge here. So we don't really know what any of this means, but... Uh, but it's all... It's all very ominous and... and fucky sounding. Like there's some... there's some... some shenanigans going around for sure. Armor against warp damage. I'm going to give that to you because she is going to be our warp person. In fact, she might even resist warp damage to herself if things go well. Of course, these are all medium armor. I think what I might just do... Let's see, which is better? 30. 30. These seem like they're about the same, honestly. So if we... Oh, but she can't wear this one. Oh, because it's heresy. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, okay. And then, of course, this is heavy armor. I don't think anybody can equip this. It would lose the dodge penalty, but... Actually, the dodge penalty is less bad here. Reduces more to... Yeah, but the dodge penalty is... Oh, wait, no, it's not. No, it's not. Never mind. I misread. It's way worse. Yes, instead of dodging 18% of attacks, he would dodge 2%. And you would take slightly less damage overall. Yeah, I don't think that's enough. The armor, the, the deflection is nice. So we might eventually want to give this guy heavy armor. But yeah, for now, it's probably not a good call. Okay. We, of course, have this thing. That's only for iconoclast people, which is him and me, I think. And what I have right now is way better. No question, this is the way better option for us. And no one else can use either of these, unfortunately. Yeah, no one can use that one. Okay, that's fine. Can I talk to the peoples? I can do no such thing. Many residents of the lower levels. Okay, I'm not sure if that means we're hearing them. We're hearing them from underneath this this large device. We discovered something. We discover. We, what did we find? There's a bunch of folks over here. Kind of weird that it auto-paused. Yeah, heavy armor skill. Yeah, I don't think my guy has the heavy armor skill. He might have about that much strength. Or maybe he would normally. But it's our, his strength is currently diminished because he is... He, he got traumatized. The yellow circles make me think this, these people are... Maybe newly discovered. Maybe that's the part that was fancy. Because usually it auto-pauses when we discover either a new series of goods that was otherwise hidden. And they're highlighted purple. Or... Or if there was a trap discovered. And I don't see any traps. I see a lot of new dudes that were previously, in, that were previously I guess, kind of out of sight. What's up, Meerkat? 
Nobody start. Yeah, I figured we have to invest into it. Huh. Interesting. So, the, yeah, they're neutral. So, they're not going to necessarily attack us, but they don't love us either. They're not exactly allies. Murky liquid coming down the levels. These pipes. What it all means. We need to make a pretty good lore warp check. Can we do it? Just as I planned. Rickling sensation. The barrier between worlds is thin here. That is scary. There's like a scary Fly noise to too. The top or get left in the dust. Abelard, I've been meaning to ask. How are you keeping it together so well? Don't you ever feel awful without her? Talking about Theodora, of course. We have a duty to the new rogue trader. You would do well to focus on that. If focus on the task fight, at hand. You will have less opportunity Not the sad part that made us all sad when things. our old boss lady got murdered to death. That is exactly how it went down. I think it's that we're discovering areas below us. I think that's what's happening there. It also means jaundice. You're not wrong. It's the key to success. Ooh, there's some, some stuff. Like those. What's this? Failure is just a temporary. Stains in the sturdy wall resemble a symbol of some kind. Oh, okay, so I think we failed the note, failed the uh, the check there. Some kind of warp nonsense for sure. Well, that's nice and ominous. What that's gonna be? I, Meerkat, I thought you were gonna say yellow equals pee pee, and I was gonna say, wow, you're so right. You're so right for saying that. Keep your wits so real. About you. You're always praying, Cog. Don't you ever bore yourself? Do you even know? Did she just call Argenta Cog? What about jobs, huh? Like a cog in a machine, maybe. Some more folks just kind of chilling. More folks sleeping. Another lore check to be made. This guy looks more like one of ours. Oh, maybe not. Oh, this guy. I'm calling him a cog. Says humor is below me, he says. Oh my. Herald of Zinch. Well, not what I expected to have happen. It's actually related to the piss. I did not realize that those were one and the same. Now it's just a single bad guy. These guys are gonna leave us alone, but this guy's pretty spicy. A multi-handed, multi-weaponed demon lad. Still wet and moist and 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 dripping from the entrails of his host. It said he was a cult, cultist lad. I don't know if that meant that we passed the 85% check or if we failed it. This, we're gonna have that to look forward to. He can dash to us. He, he, he definitely has some spicy hits. He's not like crazy, but he's got a lot of hit points for sure. Uh, the good news is we do have some preparation. It's not just, we're just not just gonna get, you know, fucking splattered necessarily. I'll put myself right, um, put myself right here and maybe get behind this cover next turn. I wanna make sure Argenta has a good, a good view on this fool. I think I'll put her here. Maybe I'll put her... I mean, he's probably going to be melee only anyway. Oh, I can't put her here because that guy's in the way. Put our, yeah, I'll stick our Genta right there. Adira. You. I want her to be somewhat close. She's got a couple of abilities I want her to be able to play with. Although, this is going to be a pretty, in general, close range situation. I think I might just put Adira, like, right here. A scale. Put here. I don't want people to be too far. I don't know if people would be able to reach from like this corner and have it be considered behind cover. I'll have somebody get right on this spot. Actually, maybe that's where I'm going to have Argenta be. Argenta, you be there. I'll be here. Oh, I can't move there. I'll move there next time. Then I'll have Abelard. I think I'll have him approach from here. Although I want to make sure- never mind, I'm gonna have to put him right in front. I want this guy to make sure to close with Able Art first, first and foremost. Yeah, he's- I figured he was probably almost guaranteed. Express shipping, yeah, prime day shipping for sure. So Argenta will go first from there. We'll have Able Art duck. Because that way, if he wants to attack anybody else, he has to get past Able Art. 
which would be able hard for him to do so. I think the rest of that should be okay. All right, so first up is, is Argenta indeed. We can have her do just a directed shot and do a bit of damage or do a multi-shot. And we don't even have to have able our duck. Or we could flamethrower. Flamethrower, but I hardly even know her. Do a straight line. It says five to seven. Doesn't it do the thing where if it inflicts burning, they get like more burn nations just in general? I don't know what the chance of the burning is. Of distance. Inflicting burning. Maybe it's guaranteed. You know, let's find out. What better? No better time than the present. Unless he resists it. Okay, he is he is burninating actively. I don't know for how long he'll be burninating. Now I can't shoot this one as well unless we run it in gun, but it's probably not worth it right now. He goes for Abelard, which is exactly what I wanted to do. He does not. He knocks down Argenta. He didn't incur an attack of opportunity. Oh, there he goes. So I was going to say he should have incurred an attack of opportunity. Oh, now these guys are mean. Oh, shit. And Argenta is knocked down. I was not expecting that to happen, but I probably should have. Okay, well, that does change some things. Now this just got interesting. Sad that he didn't close with the Able Art, but he was smart to uh, look elsewhere. Now we got more bros. In this situation. Adira still is outside of uh, scary thing range. So I'll have her analyze Harold. I'm assuming he's, his name isn't Harold, but he he himself is a Harold of Ziench. The, the general definition of the word Harold. I will forewarn. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, look at that. Maybe I don't have you cast spells for a minute. Get that veil degradation down. I'm worried your head's going to pop right now. The higher that goes, the scarier things get. I definitely want Abelard to get nice and spicy. So Argenta got freaking knocked down. There's a whole lot of fellas. Or, I mean, this would be... I'm not going to commit to any of these. Yeah, that would definitely hit Ar uh, Argenta, which would not be good. As tantalizing as that group of bad guys is. Could kill the, the smaller fellas, which would be nice. How much degradation is that, though? Two, I think. It's three. Oof. Maybe I'll... Ah, this is only one. Maybe this one will be okay. I should beef up Argenta, actually. It's after her. This guy... Well, they, they are neutral. So they will hopefully not act. Maybe they, maybe they will act soon. I guess I don't know. Argenta will get a turn, but her turn will be standing back up. Oh, I was looking at the wrong people. Yeah, these people. All right, so this guy would go first. And then Cassia would go next. And Cassia will have to take an attack of opportunity. But she'll be, she might be able to melt these guys with her, uh, her, her AoE attack. So that might just work in our favor. And then it's me, and then it's Abelard. Yeah, I want Abelard to continue to focus here. Okay. So it's a question of who do we buff. Still gonna buff Abelard, but I really want to heal Argenta at the nearest opportunity. So I will just do a regular shoot opportunity here. No blind anybody. I'm going to. I can actually drop one of these guys. Really, just drop any one thing, or I could just shoot the bad guy. But I kind of want more stacks of the other stuff to get applied. I'm not too worried about my guy. He'll be okay. All 90%. I'll see if I can drop you. There we go. So now, Cassia will only take a single attack of opportunity. When her turn comes around. There's Pascal. Actually, maybe I can have him drop another one. Let's do this. Let's do... The thing where we make everyone else's guns better. I think I'm going to focus... I'm going to cast it right here. I don't care quite as much about Cassia. And... Um, and Adira's weapons. I care more about Argenta. 
And the melee guy. Yeah, I, I think that at least affects a couple bad guys and lowers the effectiveness of, of several other bad guys. I think that's what I call. Then I'll apply another stack. There's a big guy here. Stacks on stacks. And then I'm not behind cover, so perfect shot wouldn't be worth it. And I just drop one of these guys. There's a pretty good chance. 85% is pretty good. I'm less concerned about these two over here. I'll be able to handle these, I'm pretty sure. When it comes for my turn. It's not going to be nice. But my guy's got more health than Argenta does, especially right now. And Casilla, for that matter. 85%, 85. It's all 85. All the way down. So drop him at least so Casilla will be able to move freely. And at my turn there. These guys are moving, but not clear what they're moving towards. Everyone's getting close. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. He's... That's why we powered him up. We'd be able to take those hits. They're kind of corralling around him. In a manner that I'd hoped they would. Now, unfortunately, if I were to use this, it would definitely affect him. So I don't want to do that. What I think I will instead do is voice of command... Yeah, that's actually nice too. Argento's gonna be safe here. I'm gonna voice of command Abelard. It'd be really nice if we could kill some of these bad guys real quick. Give him two action points to use for free. I say he does one of these. Power swing. Unless he hits all three of them. He won't be able to kill all of them, but he's gonna hurt them real good. Kill two of them. It's pretty good. I'm not gonna use this just yet. Meerkat over here is is uh, doing a very good job of proselytizing for the sake of the Emperor without me having to do shit. It's great. Meerkat's, Meerkat's doing a good job of like summoning summoning the incantations to benefit the uh, benefit our side. I could send a blast to the bad guy. I could melt. One of these guys. Wait, wasn't there two of them? Weren't there two of them here? I could, have sworn I, I could have sworn there were two bad guys that were threatening my... Oh, maybe he moved to, effect, to attack one of these guys. Yeah, I think this guy was right here originally. Yeah, so the chumps I'm not quite as worried about. Um, let's, let's go ahead and send a blast towards that guy. Either that or try the AoE. But the AoE would not be worth it. Oh, he teleported! And he's summoning more friends. Okay. That explains how that's going to go down. He did that outside of his turn, too. So that just happens as he takes damage, I suspect. Ooh, look at this. There's, like, ghosts lumbering about. I'm assuming that's just a visual thing. But it is spicy. I wonder if that means... Oh, it's this. The Veil Degradation. Oh, that's not good. So without us even casting a lot of spells, our, our Veils are degrading. Mostly rapidly. No, I cannot shoot right now. What I can do is... Consider... Who's going to be coming at us. So there's gonna, some shooters over here. This guy's a shooter as well. Abelard will be able to... I think he can he attack and then charge? I think so. Which would mean these guys are both not long for this world. And Argento's going to have an opportunity to stand up pretty soon here. So I think what I should do is I should get behind, whoops, this amount of cover. So that will incur an attack of opportunity. Taking calculated but risk. that's fine. It was a, it's a calculated risk. That's fine. Um, I can still... 85% is not great. I am behind cover, but not to this guy. He does have a lot of stacks on him. I think I would rather apply another stack towards this guy. So the next time one of us snipes him, they'll take big damage. And then I will take a regular shot at you. Uh, you know what? No, I'll take a good shot at you. It's a better chance. I was going to say, I'd feel really embarrassed if I missed. And then I'll use this. This spell is degraded. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. It, yeah, we even saw ahead of time. You're right, Eric. It even said ahead of time, this veil is a spicy one. So I suspect Adira is going to have some, some struggles. So Abelard... Can I attack and then charge? I think I can. 
I think I can attack and then charge. I think that is acceptable. I think that is a legal move. A legal gamer move. 20. And then... Fuck him up. Now, we didn't kill. But we at least closed with him. So he will be a non-issue very soon. And the turn. This guy's gonna start moving. So he's gonna continue teleporting around. Causing this rabble to become aroused with each turn. With each teleport, that is. He shot one of the... Unmanifested. Which is kind of surprising. Oh, maybe he's just gonna go to them now, actually. He was able to shoot in melee. It's kind of surprising. How you doing, Adira? She's like, well, my brain hurts. Brain's a little hurty. Can I do this from here? Well, yeah, actually, he's behind hard cover. So I can move up quite a bit. I can move back, too, but these guys are going to get turned probably pretty soon, if I had to guess. So I am going to hop here. I can't reach the bad guy. I'm a little bit afraid to cast spells as a deer right now for obvious reasons. So instead, I might just drop anybody that has ranged weapons. Yeah, he's going to shoot you. Ooh, but I'm going to miss. 90% miss chance, or hit chance, rather. That's okay. I can go ahead and apply this on there. And then... On to Pascal. I'm gonna see if I can move him up a bit. See, what if I get to right here? Would I be able to reach? Uh, no, I yeah, I had a feeling. Like it's it's half cover, yes, but this is hard. Like this right here is hard cover, obviously. So instead, I'll just try to shoot that guy from there. Brain that fool. There we go. Yeah, extra. That's it. I, that is exactly what I'm concerned about. I'm concerned about extra demons. You you took the words right out of my mouth. We're all corralling towards this fella. Oh, they're fighting. The, okay, so right now they're not. They're not only are they are the bad guys wanting to hurt the neutral fellas, but the neutral fellas don't want to fuck with the bad. Don't want to be fucked with by the bad guys either. So they are actively fighting each other, but it's only a matter of time before they join them. So this is. An inevitability. We could get Cassia to do her AoE. I know it has no hope of reaching anybody right now. But if we can get her closer. These guys actually might be more focused on these fellas. So if I could get Cassia over there, she could do some pretty cool things. So I'm going to get her in progress then of being able to drop these folks. I might just give... Bring it down to Abelard, just so we can finish this guy off and start moving next turn. Because we definitely want to get to that side sooner than later. I might give voice of command to... Let me think about this. Who's going to do something cool next round? Argenta's up. And for now, these guys are on our side. Or at least they're neutral to us, so... Actually, yeah, for that matter, I could, I could give any of them a boost if I wanted to. Um... I mean, I like the idea of this guy trying to do something towards this guy. It wouldn't do much, but it's something. I think it's probably better to use it on our party. If we can control directly. Um, I'll give it to my guy. And give this to you. Oh, I can't. You're too far away. Really? You're too far away? Really? Oh, okay. Argenta? Oh, I see the radius. Yeah, I see. I see. I guess I could give it to my guy. So I can have him just go ahead and drop that guy. Or if there's anyone over here we wanted to drop. I kind of like the idea of Abelard being able to... Well, it wouldn't affect his movement too much. You know what? Yeah, let's just let's just drop this. That was effectively what I wanted to do as Abelard anyway. Just drop that fool right there. Right back to Cassia. Yes, the AoE would do us no good here. I can have her melt any one brain... Or any, any one dude's brain a guaranteed shot. Of course, I could just take a sniper shot. Ooh, except the range, or the, the, the guarantee is not as good. 
95% is pretty good, but actually the damage looks pretty identical. So yeah, I'll just go ahead and drop that guy if possible. Ooh, not fully. That's okay. Okay, now it's my turn. I am behind cover. So, oh, he's actually uh, enveloped. I think he's, he, he can't move right now, so he's not going to be a threat. I will drop... Anybody else have a gun? Looks like it's all melee. There we go. Just drop these guys. Shot him in the butt and his head fell off. Love when that happens. And then I have an extra action point left. I might as well apply this towards somebody who's left. Apply it towards you if I could, but I can't see you, so it's going to you instead. A lot of things to shoot this time around. Abelard is free to move around. I have him go around. That's pretty much all he can do right now, although I can declare a sworn enemy. I can't swear at you, so I'll say it's you. Oh, I guess. I guess you. And then, of course, I can endure. Couldn't do that earlier. Um, and, of course, charge. I wouldn't be able to reach him, so charge would do me nothing. I'm gonna start attacking these guys. Yeah, a lot of cannon fodder, both good and bad. Presuming they're not gonna attack us. Yeah, he is locked in place, but he's still able to shoot. Argenta's actually up. Uh, she's actually able to do things. Can you believe it? I think I might heal her up because she got fucked up a little bit. Heal yourself. You got messed up a little bit by that little situation where you got fucking slapped around. I could run and gun. I think what I might instead just do is drop this guy. There we go. The light has faded from his eyes. He teleport. He like moved and then teleported and then... I guess that's it. Yeah, I guess that's all he was doing. I get you here. And dare I chance it. We're at 15. Dare I chance... A chain lightning. It's real juicy. Oh my god, it's so juicy. What are the what are the odds that this explodes my entire butthole right now? And is it worth it? Because with how much it'll fuck up these guys. Dare I roll the dice? Of course, of course I roll the dice. That was extremely sexy. Now it did hurt some of the good guys, I think. But it hurt the bad guy and it made me feel very powerful. Sexually, that is sexually powerful. Did that do a bad thing? Horrors of the warp. Eh, it's fine. It's fine. She's fine. She's a good girl. She's a, she's a strong and slightly terrifying lady who can handle the worst. I actually can't see anybody to analyze. Very good. Let's move everyone else up. See, Pascal actually can't move through these folks, so I'll just kind of move him here. Can I still shoot from here? Oh, actually, I might. I can see one fella. Can't scrutinize you necessarily, but I can shoot and eyes you. Oh, actually, am I behind cover right now? No, no, I'm not. There we go. Drop that guy. So there's only a few bad guys on screen until he converts more bros. More bros to his side. It's only a matter of time. He actually killed that guy. That's kind of cool. And they're coming... Not to hurt us, they're not exactly to our aid, but they're not harming us. How do you miss a target that large? My god. This thing is freaking huge. Alright, two spellcasters up front. Um, of course, I can't do shit to you right now. Uh, I could... I'm actually in a situation right now where I'm not even sure a bonus round would do much, because we need movement right now. Um... I, you know what? Could I give the bring it down order to you? No, you're too far away. Darn. Like, they would do something, but it's too, too little right now. Could I reach? Reach with this thing? I think I, I'm, like, just short. Now we're one square short. Yeah. No, we need just more movement points. Let's, um... Who's gonna... Is there anybody gonna do anything cool next turn? Pascal might. Abelard's still too far away. He might be able, still be able to shoot. At the rate things are going, 
Actually, hold on. My movement's pretty good. I might be able to still... Uh, that's still far away. Lord, yeah, it's gonna, it's really, it's one of these three. Give it to Pascal. And I'm not gonna worry about this one. I think I'll just end my turn. There's only so much more that can be done. No bad guys to be shot, yeah. Okay, so then I'm gonna move up. This is as far as I can go. Does that give me an angle? Probably not. I didn't think it would. Um, I'll still do this. In my turn. Ibelar moves up. Um, couldn't, wouldn't be able to charge if I wanted to. And I do want to. Can I at least look at you? Yes. And make him my sworn enemy. I can endure. And I can... Actually, can I shoot at you? I might be in range to shoot. Oh my god, I can. Sure, why the hell not? I can miss, that's okay. These guys are coming around the bend. I guess there's no other way to get to him from that side, so... Gotta go around this way instead. Magenta, move you on up. Now I know the answer already. I can't shoot at anybody. Uh, that's fine. I could run and gun. Oh god, what's he doing? He runs forward, he teleports. He did something. He might have done something to this guy. Horrors of the warp now. Unclear what he just did, actually. Is there some kind of, like, battle log to see what... What, um... Like, what certain actions are, I wonder? Like, if there's some kind of th way to see, like, yeah, what happened just now? Maybe he did something to us. I, I see, I've got overexerted. Oh, that's fine. That's that's the voice of command. That's fine. So, we got, I guess I should be grateful. I should be grateful he didn't do something terrible. I'm amazed that guy's still there. This one here. Oh, there is a log. Cool. Thank you. Thank you, Eric. That's super helpful. I, you know, I kind of wonder what that was. Yeah. Oh, he applied an exploit to somebody. Cool, cool, cool. There we go. He upped the ante for the veil degradation. My god, by three. If it maxes out, is that a guaranteed heads explode? Because that's scary. Yeah. Yeah, thank you, Eric. That's exactly what I was looking for. You're the, you're the freaking man. He is a little bit close. Um, but he just moved, so we, we have an opportunity then. If I go right here, could I shoot him with a gun that is made with bullets? No. What if I went here? That's a little dangerous. I think the line means... That, that line tells me all I need to know. I could shoot him from here. Or here. Or there even. Okay, well that's nice. I don't want to get her too close to the danger zone. So we'll go right here. And I'll analyze. This actually could do a lot of damage. Hey, what's up, Blood Right? Yeah. Yeah, that's exactly it. Yeah, that's exactly it. Ninety-five, that's pretty good. It's a fifty percent chance and oh man, that's scary. Yeah, so that's that's getting real spooky. And I've I've been fairly minimal. I did cast that one lightning spell though. That was that was pretty self-indulgent, but I couldn't help it. It was just so sexy. I couldn't I couldn't say no to a spot that that delicious. All right now he makes some more friends happen because we got him down to half health. Although we kind of knew that was going to be coming. This guy is still... Oh, no, he is evil now. He was on our side, now he's evil. And then eventually he'll teleport on this side and do the same with these guys. But they're trying to come around. Come around the bend. Um, this guy is going to move forward. Basically as far as he can go. I can't really see anybody. Extra evil or otherwise. I can't see shit. Can't see shit, Captain. What I can do, though, is power up everyone's stiff. Now, I can't power up any of those bros, unfortunately. Actually, here, if I aim it there. Oh, no. Okay, I was going to see if I could, like, power up my weapons and also their weapons, but they're going to turn into bad guys eventually, so maybe I should only buff up our stuff. Turn. He's going to come around. Okay, yeah, here he comes. But these guys are still on our side. Let's enjoy this while we can. Coming around the bend. He does have eyes on Abelard, who scoffs at his attempt at shooting him. 
Cassia, I don't want to get too, too close to the front lines, but she has eyes on these guys. Now, what I could do... Get her right here. I could also have her... I don't know if I want to spend this on Abelard right now. Maybe I can't give it to Pascal. I might give it to Argenta. But what I could do is have Abelard charge. I think he'd be able to reach this guy with a charge. One, two, three, four. Yeah, he'd be able to reach. Oh, wait, that's Pascal. Uh... It's like one, two, three, four, five. I think so. I think this would work. I think you could charge to him. And if nothing else, you could probably shoot him. If you insist, Lord Captain. So I have no movement. I can charge to his ass. So he's just out of there. And now we're close into range to these guys. That's good. That was just kind of a little bonus thing we just did. Otherwise, I can melt his face. I can move up more. And in fact, I might as well, I think because our melee guy is up close and personal with these guys, they will be drawn to him most likely, or to get around him, they'd have to they'd have to go around this way, or they'd have to take an attack of opportunity. Probably not worth it for them. I, I just melt his face. I just melt his face, all right. And then it's me. I'm gonna get my ass behind cover. I don't think I can reach you. Uh, can't reach anything right now. The only, this is the only thing the only other thing on the board right now. And then it's Abelard's actual turn. And I do the thing where I get like right here and then charge at this motherfucker. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. Right, now I can't reach you. I can move up a little bit more. Can I just take a pot shot at you? No, he's actually outside my range. What if I moved here? Also still outside the range. Okay. Um, let's keep our melee weapon out then. I'll continue moving. And I will endure. Oh, wait, no. I can only do one thing. I'll, um... What's one enemy do again? Armor and... Yeah. Yeah. Let's do that one. If I had to do that or endure, that one's pretty good. I would like to do both, but that's fine. He's running away. You were working so hard to get to that side. I guess they determined there's... It's quicker to go this way. I don't know. I mean, this bridge has been available. The pathfinding is questionable. Um, get our gent up this way. I would have to run and gun to reach. If it's worth it. Even, yeah, even with run and gun, I don't think we'd be able to reach. But there. Hammer's doing some fuckery here. Um, he just moved. Was there nothing else done? I mean, our momentum's really good right now. But our veil de degradation is as scary as it could possibly be. So if we need to use the, the nukes, the, the nuke of, like, a, of a heroic act, we do have that as an option. But we're actually doing okay other than the scary brain melting meter. Scary head explosion meter. See if I go right here. Maybe able to hit this fella. Is there any other bad guy? Just the yellow, the yellow fiends that are not, you know, evil yet. Um, I think I might just end my turn there. Can't even analyze. No. Okay. Move you up as well. I might as well get him out of cover and just have him keep moving because we're, we're all just kind of trying to catch up with this guy. Don't have eyes on him. Okay. You're still neutral. So you're also wanting to fight this demon with us, not not against us. Cassia, can you do anything cool? Can't hit him. Can you shoot him? I think, I think there's a hard corner in there that's not doing us any favors. I could try... I don't know. I think it's too far away to charge. One, two, three, four... Yeah, I, I, it's too far. I think we're a little bit too far. Can't shoot. Yeah. I think what I'll do, though, is I'll give... Oh, I can't give that to Abelard right now. Um, I think I'll just... Oh, I think I'll just end the turn. I'm moving. Can't reach anybody. I'll just do this. 
Then Abelard can do this. He can get one of these then charge. Nine damage, not the bestest. Do one more. Or I can endure. Uh, my guy is at pretty good health. If I hit him again, there's a very good chance he will teleport away. Eh, we, we came here to do damage. We're going to do damage. Five damage. Not much, but it's something. Not even much, but it's honest work. These guys keep running back and forth. They just can't make up their goddamn minds. Keep diddling and dallying. They need to diddle or dally. I need to make a choice. Can't reach you, but I could run and gun to reach him next turn. Then we're winded. I'll just wait. He runs away. No attack of opportunity. He does ethereal flames. Is that what that was? No flames. All creatures. That do actually. No longer use attacking abilities on current turn. Spend some movement points. Hmm. Seems like, like I'm not sure what that would normally do. Seems like it would do damage typically, but it's kind of uh, unclear what that is doing. Did it apply stacks of something maybe? Oh, not not clear actually. Let's go ahead and so it's all in, uh, it's Adira. Move her up. Still can't reach anybody, I don't think. Oh, actually, maybe. Did I see a line. She does have a line on this guy. Ooh, now we're cooking. Apply another stack. It's not the bestest, but it's better than nothing. Take a shot. Come on, crit. Okay, looks respectable damage. I wouldn't call it a crit, but it was respectable. We're making him sad little by little. Like we got him on the ropes, but we're on the, we're on the long tail part of the fight right now. We have range. Do you, oh, maybe not that. I uh, don't have range on him. Okay. Um, no other bad guys on the field right now. It's kind of surprised he, haven't, he hasn't warped away to convert some of the fellows yet. I have read tomes of military tactics. I realized maybe what I should have done was move up not quite as far so that I could have, could have like shot kind of in this like gap and before this pipe basically. What I could still do is charge up Abelard and have him do a charging attack. Mess up this fool. And make him, there we go, make him teleport away like a chump. And now these guys have been converted. <laughs> these guys that just keep running back and forth. So now these guys are a problem. But that's presumably his last teleport that he's got. Oh, could I make their butts melt? Uh, not without making my friend's butts also melt. But I'd rather do, I guess I can shoot at them. Those guys are a little bit more pressing, but I could still take a pot shot. Could I just do this? If I may. Yeah, I can't kill. It, it even was a crit, but it wasn't able to kill, sadly. Now it's my turn, and we have some buds. Only those exploded. Oh, I could shoot at the big bad if I if I so desired. Actually, I could. Ooh, that's tempting. Do I, do I go for the? Oh, I can't analyze them. I was gonna say I think even with a crit, I wouldn't be able to kill. I'll focus these guys for a bit. Um, just do that. I'm not behind cover right now, so the perfect shot would have made a difference anyway. Abelard, I know you worked so hard to catch up to that guy just for him to run away like a dingus. Uh, just keep pursuing. Ring around the rose. You were just going around this big old lap. Uh, endure. And sworn enemy. Could not be done if I wanted. These guys are just chilling. Oh, he's locked in place. Argenta, you are... Here. Let me just drop you real quick. There we go. He's out of there. Those guys are not a problem anymore. It's so her first time she actually was able to attack this turn. The ultimate shot would have got- Yeah, you're- I, you're probably right. The, um, yeah, the dis dismantling attack. Actually, we could maybe do it now, actually. That attack always hits. Oh, wait, hold on. Gotta get her in range. 
pretty cool if a deer could pop him out. Once he pop, he just don't stop. Yeah, if we could have a... If we just have this kind of pop instantly. Oh, four damage short, but now we get to do a real attack. Like the normal attack, that is. There we go. He's done -zo. And now, the cleanup begins. And so far as I could tell, there were no major downsides for having such a high Veil Degradation meter. I was waiting for heads to explode, but so far it's been pretty okay in the grand scheme of things. Good call reminding me about the ult. I forgot that didn't take the place of a regular shot. So that became... Uh, that became less... Less of a concern, because I was thinking, oh, I, you know, it won't be enough to kill, so I need somebody else to do the finishing... The finishing touches. I can see you wanted the, the the final final honors. One HP down. His head has been melted. Casting would have done it, but not shooting. Yeah, which makes sense. Which makes sense. As they one of the benefits they say is that it's a guaranteed shot or a guaranteed hit. And casting, of course, is always a guaranteed hit unless it gets interrupted or something. Some Oreos, Meerkat. I would say if you're gonna be up for another hour at least, then yes. But if you're going to bed pretty soon, I would say maybe a, a smaller snack would be ideal. And actually, speaking of which, it is 2.30 a.m. That's the time to go to the dentist, of course. Tooth hurdy. 2.30 a.m. It is real late. But we explored the sewers a lot. We had a really fun fight. We'll eventually be able to go back up to the warehouse if we so desire. There's stuff to loot. There's bad guys to interrogate. Actually, no, there's nobody left to interrogate. Everyone's dead. Everyone's dead. But we got some goods. We got some things to, it to inspect. So, um, we got things for next time. And ne next time will probably be tomorrow. We'll see, though. Um, we'll see how it goes. I know I, I have to work tomorrow, and I've got some, some post-work things I'll need to do to take care of tomorrow after, or basically after work, but before stream. And depending on how late that goes, it might mean that I will have to, I might have to hold off on tomorrow's stream and just stream on Friday instead. But, uh, but yeah. Yeah, good progress. Good, good, uh, very enjoyable fights. Um, again, thank you to Eric and, and and really everyone else for your patience as I was trying to detangle the the, the very frustrating puzzle we were trying to tangle with earlier. Um, I, I know that kind of stuff is frustrating and, I, and maybe I shouldn't have like abandoned it a lot earlier because you know obviously the, the end result was pretty disappointing but but I do appreciate people uh, being being willing to to stand my bullshit as I'm as I'm trying to figure as I'm stubbornly stubborn stubbornly what's the word stubbornly stubbornly trying to like resolve this thing before i let go of it it was it was very frustrating but again eric was a huge help and everyone else uh, who endured it and uh and maybe even even commiserated with me as we all were like baffled by this like strangely worded puzzle it was very weird the only way to interrogate is to murder everybody i mean i'm not gonna say it's an efficient way to do it but it is a method one of the interrogation methods of all time Strength and ignorance, and I'm very strong. Well, there you go. I'm right there with you, Meerkat. I'm right there with you, bud. So the game is over, but the, our duty to uphold the Emperor's honor? Oh my gosh. It never ends. Never ends. I can always look to Meerkat to find very creative ways to fill out the chat with, with, with proselytizing, pro-Emperor proselytizing, to keep things real interesting and uh, free of heresy at all moment, at all times.